No, we live. We are. Yeah. We'll get this. We'll get it right one day. I know. Rick, rickety rolling. Rickety rolling. <laughs> um, are we just hit the button. Let's just fuck it. Yeah. Sometimes we try to say something funny at the start, but. <laughs> That's your version of funny though, isn't it? Saying all that stuff. Mm. <laughs> I learned, I learned it's called a cold open. And I know, now, I, I heard, I now heard, I'm always yeah. like trying to think about like what it can be. Like you tell a little anecdote about something irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. And but the rest of us are tapping the five second thing. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> trying yeah. to get past like, oh, well, we don't have sponsors, but one day, one day. <laughs> um, hello, Toby. I've made it, finally. Toby Seagar, Stora, obviously. Um, Motors Podcast, welcome back. Thank yeah. you all. Yeah. I, we're so bad at like the formal intro I mean, this is where we should plug all the shit but whatever i think it'd be easier if you didn't know everyone your podcast your chat yeah you know what I mean? yeah true yeah, you probably would well I instead like, it's just like a bit of a catch-up that being said we have not i haven't seen you face to face in a while. i've probably seen yeah. you more than giles to be but like the last, training in brighton the last two bit. times i was in brighton you weren't there yeah i don't know just what a, I was doing I, uh, that day, you were down. Yeah, I can't remember, but I was gutted I missed that. A couple of different times, yeah. Um, yeah, and I've literally just arrived, and we're a bit short for time, aren't we? So we're doing yeah. the catch up now. Busy. <laughs> I know that's. It's almost the best way though, because we're like we start talking about something, and then it's like, no, save it for the podcast. Like, let's just mm. chat on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Before we get into it though, I do have a funny story that I remembered the other day. Do you remember we went for a meeting like a load of us in London, like. <laughs> Oh, Stara, me, Katie was there, Tim and things. Yeah. <clears throat> we went out drinking afterwards. We went to a pub and I was very, I don't know how I got so drunk. I was hoping you were going to bring you up because if you weren't, I was like, I need nah. to add to this story. I was very, very, <laughs> very drunk. I don't know this. And I climbed on top of, it was a busy pub on like a Friday evening and there's lots of like, you know, proper businessmen and things there. Right. This iconic Bankers. moment. Iconic. I climbed on top of a table and shouted at the pub and told everyone, I was like, well, guys, guys, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. I was like, these boys right here will be more successful than any no. of you. In and I did that. And then the whole pub was like, all right. And then I just kind of sat down again. And no. Fortunately, everyone was just about pissed enough to just like be like, yeah. Yeah. But I wasn't, I wasn't wrong. So, I mean, there's some of them might be millionaire bankers, but you know. Wow. Mate, that was so funny. That was so I funny. I, I remember it like, this table here is going to make more money than everyone yeah. else in this room. I don't I remember. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. I don't all remember how I got man. that drunk. Like. Yeah. No, and I remember the worst part about that. This was like prime time Snapchat, I think it was Snapchat stories. Yeah, that day I decided because I built up quite a Snapchat following thanks mm. to Off the Edge. <laughs> I decided to do a um, Good time, bro. yeah. Uh, I did a day in the life, so I was on your Snapchat. I was filming everything, and I think it ended with me lying on my kitchen floor at the old flat, just being like, "Oh fucking drunk." <laughs> <laughs> After that, yeah. Oh my god, how did that not get filmed? I don't know. Someone. Yeah. What, in the pub? Mm. That was just uh, one of those moments, you know, it's like you walk out like, I wish that was on camera, but it was so spontaneous <laughs> and incredible. Yeah, I'll never forget that. that I, I had until the other day and then I was thinking about this and I just suddenly popped into my head and I and was like- so confidently got on the table, like fucking bolted on, stand up so high up. I was like, whoa. Yeah, what? <laughs> that's not really like me, but I guess <laughs> no. al alcohol. I can't imagine it. I don't um, know, man. There's been a few after parties, yeah. We've yeah, we've had some... some yeah. Japan always comes to mind with that crazy man walking us to that war memorial. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Locked hands with a Why sweaty... Why did he walk you there? Oh, it's, it's, the, the story would take the length of this podcast. Yeah, yeah, it will. We'll tell you another time. It's, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Um, <laughs> how you doing? Ankle. That's, that's mm. the first thing. Yeah, I nearly asked you about good, it. Yeah. Last couple of days, um, seeing, like... You know, you have that point of an injury. It's like, okay, it's going to be all right. Yeah. You have that point. But the first sort of initial phase, you're just like, is this going to be a niggle for a, have you, know, for a have year? Have you had it diagnosed? Um, I've, I just gave the ATFL a big tug. So on the outside, on the outside there, Ooh, yeah. standard roll. But I like inverted as well. So my toes like come backwards underneath my leg as well. So, um, uh, okay. so the medial delt, I think it's called on the inside. It's like made up of a bunch of different ligaments what that, was that, that one's switched, actually hurting or not so i thought it was compression yeah but yeah. some of the the front the ligaments on the front of that take mm. a pull as well so um yeah that's actually hurting the most um i think partly maybe because i have like slightly flat arches as well so it's pulling in and yeah. stuff but that's the one i'm not worried about because it that's the one that keeps like surprising me you know the sudden but i was in a yeah. i was in a boot for just over two weeks and 
the weird thing was like four days after I did it, um, you know, I was walking fine. Yeah. Or, or two or three days, I was walking fine. And then uh, had a chat with this uh, physio who's fixed Harrison and worked with George Mayfield. Oh, and sick. Yeah, and yeah. like that. And he was just like, get in a boot. Like, and mobilize um, it. Yeah. And I went to bed and just like, I couldn't sleep for like two hours. I was just literally depressed, man. I was like, Far. no. So, like, it is legit. Like, I was like, no. Yeah. Um, and two weeks in the boot. And uh, one of those weeks, uh, about 10 days of that was on crutches. Um, I've never been on crutches. Jeez. <laughs> what the hell, man? Like, I was out for, what, eight, nine months with my back when I hurt my back yeah. a few years ago? Yeah. No point did I feel as debilitated as I did they're on crutches. They're so, like, yeah. You're like, okay, it kind of helps my foot or my leg, but they're so weird, aren't how they? How long, man? Have crutches, did you say? Just like 10 days, Just okay? 10 days. Mate, people have had so much longer, man. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I was like, just stop moaning, bro. Like, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I find them hard to use, but Max was, you know, did his knee the other yeah, week, yeah, yeah. and he had crutches, Yeah. and he was just fucking bombing it everywhere. He was fine with yeah, it. Yeah, I mean- Some I people could, can just- yeah, I mean, I got the tech after a while. Like, it takes some, because you get pumped out, don't you? First yeah, day, yeah. I feel like it hurts the top of your hands. Of your hands yeah. And, yeah, but the boys are in town training, people are out, and I was just like, oh, sweet, I'll get up, like, and go to get up. And I'm like, oh, like, got, got, to get get, got to get an Uber into oh, town. My. I'm going to be fucking stuck behind on the crutches. Yeah, and just that like, sucks. Yeah, I was just mm-hmm. down for that first week. Um, I haven't been that down about an injury in a long time. It's pretty weird. It's I a little bit it's, of grounding, isn't it? Because you're like, shit. Yeah. Like, if it was worse. Yeah, and time out for me now is makes a lot bigger difference than it used to. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, you, you regress and get and I get weaker and things stiffen up and I, the niggles return really a lot faster. Yeah, what, the than, other niggles that you have? Uh, yeah, just not? little random bits. It's just a constant cycle for me these days. I think, <laughs> I think for most people sort of moving into like, yeah, late 20s, 30s. Yeah, how old are you now? Like, mm-hmm. 27. 27, wow. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not old. But I'm by all no, means. Like, but I've always, I've got loads of time. You've always been like, like one of the younger stars, so it's always been like, oh, Toby's one of the younger ones. But yeah, yeah I mean, Callum's what, 31 now? 32? Oh, I should know that. He's no, the, I think he's, 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 he's a year below me. He's yeah, 30, yeah. He's 30. Um, mm-hmm. I just need to mention, if you can hear weird tapping and gnawing, Darwin is here and he's kind of wandering around. There it is. First mention of Darwin. I know, yeah. Yeah, do a shot. always get mentioned. Take a shot. So when he's here, he's just a pain in my ass. Sure, um, yeah, it's, it's a great I mean, that video was savage because you obviously did it and you were just. I, I don't like. like yeah. And, and you can see in your face, you're just like. Oh, it's more no, the sadness yeah. of like, you could see it was like, am I injured, injured? Yeah. When you get up, you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. I knew, like, I've never rolled. I've actually never had a bad ankle roll. Mm. I don't know how, 16 years. Like, yeah, that's, that's great. like, right? It's crazy. I've, yeah. I've rolled before and like been like, oh, like in the next, you know, in the next half an hour or the day it's like you get a little bit a yeah. little bit stiff but that's all um and this one like i felt a little pop like I, I knew where my foot had gone and it shouldn't have been there and, yeah and now i'm on this pipe and then you get that instant feeling and i mean we've been there now so many times before that it's like okay it's, it's one of those moments like and yeah, yeah. I just, like i resisted i don't really know where i resisted it i should just like let rip i was just gonna i was just gonna fucking slap that slap the pipe, pipe man like i was like fuming and just and that very quickly translated in just pure sadness and yeah. i just put my face in my hand oh, just man. like it's that moment like and i was like right get out before it hurts and like hopped along that pipe which in but hindsight like, i realized was a bit sketchy that the pipe yeah. looked sketchy imagine you fell in off <laughs> right, well. you're oh, trying to no, kick get with up, it. and you're walking off all sad and then foot and, and then, then fell fall in because you can't get out there either the guys would have had to chuck a rope in make the knots like put oh us chuck in the sup board which wasn't inflated, like. And, oh, yeah, you hopped across with with Shut grace. <laughs> Did you say it was the? What is it called? AFL. AF, a- ATFL. ATFL on the outside. That sounds like one. a train. That's the one. Yeah. That's the one that I completely tore. So yeah. I've got it's not there anymore. It's just just in two. Bro. So and then that was like a year or two years of not training properly. Yeah. Wow. So that, yeah, but right. I think I did what you did. I've like I pulled it and didn't get a proper MRI and then just kept training on it and when I thought it was kind of healed. And then I did it again while it was like that. You were you were the you were the like Jeez, the um, yeah. you were the case study I used um for my so my mum just like wrecked her knee a couple of weeks ago and she she's like mega mega healthy running every day and things and she kept trying to like go out and train and like do runs do no, sides. she was like oh can I come down and use your bike and thing and I was like and I told the story about Keelan because you yeah it's like it's lasted it, so long I guess it so relates long. to what we were saying with George the other day it's like mm-hmm. listen to your fucking body because it's like you were savagely injured but you just kept training and then it just basically yeah, got worse good idea. it's a super hard one because it's similar to bones in the fact that like they have to be 
they have to be, f uh, you know, the, f the fibers have to be touching to sort the healing out. It's like trying to glue two bits of wood together while sliding. Yeah, around, right? yeah. Um, but then mm. on the flip side, that mobility and like, uh, you know, regaining the proprioception yeah. and making sure that all those fibers line up right. Need you need the movement. You need mm. so it's yeah. finding that balance. It's um, like a tease. You can you can do all the mobility stuff. I could do a bit of training maybe. Yeah, because motion really like light training. I love the term motion is lotion, and when it when that is applicable, it's the best fucking thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. But just when it isn't, you, and it's unless yeah. you know, you don't like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's savage. But yeah, I was hearing that there's a weirdly low amount of studies on like ligament healing and all this, which just seems crazy because oh, we've really? been doing it the whole time, but it must be just hard to log and track or what, I don't, yeah. know. I don't yeah. know. But yeah, no, it's doing all right. And I think probably start training. I'm going to have a wild guess in two, three weeks, maybe, Sick. maybe Sick. three weeks. You've been climbing though, right? That might be wishful. I don't know. Someone's probably listening like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> wait for stage two. I've been climbing a bit. Yeah. yeah. Proper peg leg climbing. Yeah. Flat back in the mat. If I can't do moves and stuff, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking it to the lungs. Yeah. Fucking hell. Um, yeah. And uh, I got given a hangboard like program from this, this uh, oh, climber gene that's been really helping me out. And that's like kept me, you know, feeling like, I can still try hard. It's yeah. the beauty of climbing, man. Like you can mm -hmm. just pull 110%, and and it gives me some sort of fix that I'm missing. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah, I'll be able to, you know, get back to two-legged climbing and actually be stronger than when I was injured. Mm. That's the goal, anyway. So I've been on that every few days, and um, yeah, the newbie gains in climbing, I recommend it to anyone. For like, are you doing like just straight up fingerboard, like hangboard stuff as well? Yeah, yeah. 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 And then I'm moving on to weighted hangs, like for the next for session. Uh, yeah. Sick. What is it, Jordan? So. Talking grippy. It's like an it's app. Grippy. It's just like a hangboard app, but it gives mm. you like set exercises to do. I've only done a couple, but when Jordan was here, he was like, I've got a hangboard. He was like, yes, you've got a hangboard. I've got to do it. And he like strapped a weight onto himself. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven seconds. <laughs> I can't wait to climb with Jordan. Man. Yeah. He's been making gains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's really he's very fucking good, strong. isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like we should go on to climbing in a bit, maybe. Yeah. I want to I wanna return to the, so like that water challenge for one, location wise was fucking insane. Unreal, yeah, yeah. Mm. So I, the question I kind of had in my head is like, I mean, I know you guys use a lot of Google Maps. But is that just, did you, is that just found on Google Maps? Like Benjamin and that lot just constantly? I believe so. Benjamin and Max have been on a scouting frenzy recently. Yeah. Like, uh, they're always on maps, like uh, Benj especially, but Max recently has been like going a bit harder on it recently as well. I think uh, probably with his injury as well. Like, uh, yeah. Max injured as well? He, yeah, it was in the holes video. You know, he did a front flip between two trees. Yeah. Um, he actually bottomed out on his left ankle and like um. every, everyone heard a little pop on that as well. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there was much said about it, to be honest. Um, but mm. uh, yeah, he's only just starting to get back into it now. That recent Chatham episode in the in the estate, that yeah, was his yeah. first. I think that was his first proper session. Sick. Um, it's a good point, actually. When uh, do you decide to like, some injuries you vocalize in the in the team, in the content, mm -hmm. and others you don't? Is it just, is it just, I mean, like Sasha's leg break obviously was like, that's not going in. I think it. But then it gets talked about, like you you obviously can't hide that. Mm. But it depends on the clip and it depends if someone posts about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just a probably probably a personality thing to be honest, whether you actually post and say like, Oh, I hurt myself today. Yeah. This is the diagnosis and because there's so much following these days like that really does invite a tirade of either great tips uh, but mostly just absolute shites like, yeah. so you, so, <laughs> like i posted that about mine and like did a you know it's me hopping off and i typed it in the in the caption and that and uh, that evening just honestly did regret i regretted posting that i was like really oh, wow kind of, wish get a lot of kind of wish i hadn't posted that it just you just get well i was just flooded with everyone in parkour will get flooded with different with uh, advice, approaches yeah. and whatever um and i just realized like i don't know for me i've got enough people close to me and around me that know so much about all that now it's mm -hmm. like i don't need to reach out to the internet and tell them that i've kind of hurt myself yeah there. and i and i would have saved that then for when i would have my first session maybe you know true and yeah in yeah, a few yeah. weeks i could post it up and and sort of go about it that but way. But I guess yeah. when it then works but into an edit, it's like, and it obviously became a big factor of the edit. It's true, like, it was in the edit, yeah. That's yeah. true, actually, I didn't think about that, yeah. Because <laughs> from an edit, it's like a storytelling perspective, which yeah. draws attention and also like it, yeah, made it, made it very watchable. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like, that's value in some ways. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, but I mean, so when you talk about those locations, do you, like, cause, uh, where was that? 
that without was, giving away. So uh, uh, that was in Dartford. Um, oh, it Dartford. was. I thought it might have been out that way. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. That place. side of England is just lots of. Yeah. That. Has anyone actually trained in Dartford? Just spots in general. Um, maybe. Uh, I. That's one of those places so. where I'm really bad with these yeah. knowing what locations are what and where we've trained. Like near um, the Thames Estuary, it's just lots of weird yeah. shit out. To I see. thought someone would at some point. Yeah, the caves have found some amazing stuff recently. They've been absolutely killing it. Um, yeah. That one I think was literally satellite zoom in on the on the coastline of the estuary, like yeah, on the and edge go of along the estuary, it. and just move along it. But and then will you guys go out all of you without ever going and scouting it? Benjamin Max, like that's just it. <laughs> I think some of us do other some other things with our spare time and i mean they do too like they whatever. just they, do. they go up to horsham see see their parents or they'll go for a paddleboard go for a swim like and they're doing a lot of art like and they do a lot of their art yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. but um i think they are on stora more than any of the, yeah. the rest of the team really in terms of like where their mind sits what yeah. they go to bed thinking about what they wake up thinking about what their plan for the day is and their rest day is get in the car and check out the list of spots that they found on maps and they that's go that's so sick and we get a, a, a influx of like oh, clips on yeah. the, on the mm. chat like roof culture you yeah, yeah, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. The, the scouting like, chat that never like, stopped it's crazy man that's <laughs> sick and they send through all these uh all these clips and all of us lot just at the end like legends legends <laughs> legends every week like alex unreal alex unreal and also you just get a bit like scared you know yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like really that clip look that jump looks because i was gonna say it's a big risk to obviously like i mean darford's not that far away but some places mm. it's like yeah yeah so, occasionally you head out somewhere and it's dog shit and yeah like, oh. so it's, ex it's the experience they have now um and obviously we've all trained together now for so long and we probably know each other's movement better than any other like yeah mm. potentially anyone else that, uh, unless you've been had a training partner for 15 years then you yeah. just don't know each other that as well as exactly. we know mm -hmm. each other so they literally like are picking out challenges for everyone like, yeah. <laughs> and most of the time it's fairly accurate like um but yeah i wouldn't have the the confidence you know what i mean if i found a spot that was two hours away and i was like i think you know, dragon like, yeah, yeah, yeah i just don't have the experience of finding all these spots in the past that have been bangers um yeah because like almost every crazy location that's in a video most of the time it's yeah. benji and uh, max that have found it uh, stuff mm. gets sent in and everyone has found bits themselves but yeah benji max really i think they also they don't pride themselves on that oh yeah for sure and they've, they've established it as a skill set and yeah that one was uh was a classic your eyes their, their eyes must be dialed in for like being able to because it's so easy to go on google maps and i've, I've done it occasionally you spend an hour or whatever just sitting there and so often you're like you see something looks good you scale in and it's mm -hmm. like the walls are that high off the ground or actually they're rails or they're yeah. ra their walls were rails on top yeah oh you and mean, i reckon i reckon for maps in general i reckon their eyes now are like, like how they know like how big a pre is from like they've got that you know the yeah, you know the scale a... thing on the side of the map that's like <laughs> this like one that's in yeah, their vision yeah. well yeah, google yeah. earth you can drag now you can drag a little line that will literally measure it yeah yeah, yeah. oh, oh shit, that's yeah, so yeah. good yeah but i think heights and edges like sometimes little rails don't show on walls yeah yeah like but um yeah it must just be experience and the thing is like i've gone on google earth like i'm not sure everyone has since they found out that people do it yeah mm. but like how long are you on it really yeah i asked 15 yeah, minutes like, 20 minutes at yeah. push like that honestly i'm pretty sure ben just sitting there yeah. with fucking hours like, well, he's just right now just, yeah. just, just, yeah. i asked him what he does of his spare time like not too long ago and he did say that a lot of it is just maps yeah, yeah. just maps have you seen those maps. guys it's like you a can, video game for them probably have you yeah, seen so the, yeah. the, the it's, a, it's a thing like there's a website and there's youtube people who they're, they're youtubers mm. and they are like the best in the world at it, i can't what the game's called but the website drops you on google street View. oh you have to find out where you are yeah it drops yeah, yeah. you and so you have good. to you have to find out where you, you are geo guesser yeah yeah something like that <laughs> yeah, yeah. i got hooked and you can so you can cast it mate so you sit on your sofa yeah <laughs> you got on the big no big way. screen yeah 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 and there's the dude geo wizard is that it? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, if anyone listening wants a good watch, like it's Jesus. mental. He, well, him we playing the game play is it. insane. He's incredibly good at it. That's yeah. one side. But he does the straight line across Wales missions. That's sorry, straight line across <laughs> Wales missions. <laughs> and uh, and like he recently did like a no roads challenge through Birmingham. And what? So on, he, he walked. It, it's like watching us lot do a vlog. Honestly, like and, really, and you guys. And he just missions through these horrible like swamps, and he's on his own, just climbing through stinging nettle bushes in a straight wow. line. 
And he's all with this little GPS like Garmin thing. And that's all part of it. It's mapping out the route with maps and like, then he goes wow, through and he's like, this sick. isn't quite what it looked like in street view. So I don't know what I'm going to do here. There's security there. Like it's so, it, oh, they're sick. great watches. Fuck me. Yeah. We, think, we, need, ex we yeah. think explaining parkour is hard to like security or whatever. It's like, sorry, mate, I'm, I'm walking across <laughs> your like building <laughs> site. to go straight. I'm just going in a straight yeah, line. Yeah. Mate, it's right. incredible. Like the, the straight line across Wales. I think he's done two or three now. Well, the second one was a fail or something. I'd highly recommend it. It's How like, long does it take? <laughs> like, he, I mean, good question. I think maybe like four days or something like does that. Does he include wow. camping in the videos? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He sets, yeah, yeah. And he camps, you know, on the fucking line. How, know, how much like, can he yeah. deviate? Uh, he has like he's made himself these like bronze silver. If dogs. there's like a public <laughs> toilet like <laughs> there, oh yeah. That's just... To be fair, yeah, having a t going for a, going for a shit. I'm not sure. Yeah. I haven't, haven't, he doesn't document that bit, but uh, but he has like sometimes he comes to like a private garden or something where it's like. I think they're in, like, I'm really not sure what to do. Sometimes he honestly climbs through that bush and pegs it, like, straight <laughs> past their kitchen and shit. And there's, like, and then one of them, he gets chased by a farmer on a quad bike, and he's, like, no and just, way. And he's just staying on the line. He's, like, if only I could go over that fence. Like, but he's staying on the line, man. <laughs> what? Like, he's, like, running. That's, That's jokes. Wicked. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, I've been trying to think of, like, a way to sort of collab, but he's a one-man army. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. The moment he's with someone else, I'm just, like, I'm not as interested. It's quite funny. But Yeah. That's incredible. Check that out. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I mean, where do we? I feel like we just that's mm. that's the is most it? that's the most exciting thing I'll hear all podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this a podcast? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Where with, are we going to go with water challenges? I feel like we've probably spoken about it before, but when did when you did get you start? <laughs> yeah. When did you start actually doing them? Was it because of the demonetization thing a while ago, or oh, like, was it quite oh. a natural thing that came about and then? Oh, the guy's going to be fucked off at me now because I have don't such know. a bad memory for how these things were born. Because um, it's such a good idea that can be replicated every time. Ah, the first one was a crazy uh, water fountain in Switzerland. Oh, uh, uh, think yeah. Like, uh, where we did the, the um, set a challenge, everyone's mm. got to do it, and you get through the rounds. Yeah. Um, and it was just a uh, foot deep like all like all the kids were like placing bets with their like <laughs> their yeah, yeah. and stuff and and uh the video just did so incredibly well i, I think, remember that I yeah think, I, I seem to remember max found that location or something or or it was in a no it was in a it would have been in old videos with christian harmat and those boys yeah yeah um and then that same week didn't plan on it but we were going, walking across that bridge in basel i, th I think this is how it came about oh, i can't yeah. remember anything yeah. prior because everyone's always done the odd jump over water, haven't they? Yeah, it's mm. like if it's but, there yeah. and it's possible. Yeah, but. then in, and then we realised, oh, okay, there's a there's a title here. There's like a water element here. That's <laughs> because like I guess joke, before so. that, you guys like had, I mean, you've you've obviously made content for years, but the POVs were like the first viral thing that you guys kind of yeah. like, yeah, yeah, uh, uncovered almost. <laughs> yeah, like, kind of mm. put a name to almost like POV yeah. videos existed, but then you guys kind of like almost formatted it, made yeah. it your own, and then like. Well, the caves start chasing each other. That's what it was. Yeah, ben, yeah, yeah. So Ben was just chasing Max and Drew, and then boom, hundred million views. You're like, I mean, yeah. we need to do that again. Right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then you do another and another, and they all pop, and they all get way more views than anything else. And the same happened with the water challenges. Yeah, mm. I think the water challenges was like the next one since the POVs. Yeah, so yeah. it was a long time where it was like, if the channel started taking a dip, we kept just saying like. <laughs> we need another PO. Yeah, I mean, I, like yeah. I fully clocked it because I just occasionally I'll sort of look on like the, you know, the, the full view of the videos. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I'll be completely honest, I don't watch all of your videos every Monday. I hope you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so too. And, uh, but I'll go on and like, especially around the time that like you guys were sort of doing the POVs and obviously initially there were quite a couple, there were a couple quite consistently and then there was a bit of a dip and then you like brought one back and I, I suddenly realised like there's a bit of a formula in terms of you can see the views Mm. on some of the other stuff dip a bit and it's like okay pop it back up and then refresh yeah. like, i mean it's not like we can just be like okay we need a pov let's go do one like, yeah a lot yeah. of the time the location or this or the rooftop has to like present itself for sure mm. um beep. someone arrived um, Mate, some sometimes people for upstairs just walk in no oh, right and yeah, like yeah, come yeah. it'll be like in. an old man because it's a what is it upstairs it's like an it company yeah yeah, yeah. and you're like you're you right. walk all the way in be like, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah like so th so these locations will sort of show themselves and it'll be like oh yo like we could make a pov here and then it's like actually that would be great right now for the channel yeah yeah mm. um and then you know places like cappadocia pop up and it's like oh we could tilt the camera upwards this time and show the balloons and like yeah. it's a, they're great fun they're quite mm. um I, t I don't want to say 
they're not they're not easy but they uh in terms of like effort to output like the views they get and the amount of time they take it's amazing yeah like, it's mm. incredible uh you know there's a lot like a grind you know, the london pov max and benj and drew got an airbnb for like a long weekend over a bank holiday and like they just went out just to scout from the no, no, from the morning to the evening to just smash it out and, uh, okay, and yeah, they were yeah. climbing over all the roofs on like oxford street and all yeah that, and yeah going places you could never go in a normal mm. period um and then yeah the water so the water challenges came we did that we did uh uh the basel challenges um the the rocket man and all that stuff did again just did incredibly well yeah, i um was flying home from napc and the woman i sat down next i got upgraded fucking amazing the woman i sat down next to on the flight was like super lovely and i was chatting to her and she literally just like i th I, th I guess i must have mentioned parkour or something like she was like oh what you've been doing in canada and she was like, oh, I just saw this and immediately just pulled up the clip. And yeah, it was just like yeah, yeah. conversation for the rest of the flight was just like chatting back and forth about parkour. She <laughs> fucking loved it. Like, That's jokes. So That's funny. Jokes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so it, we realized very quickly like, oh, okay, there's this funny element of height without the danger that people love, like, yeah. the public love. It's like- It's like wipeout, isn't it? Like people, you, yeah. your, people are happy to see people slam into shit as yeah. long as it, got water on them yeah 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 yeah, like, yeah yeah it's funny and we haven't really put our finger on exactly why that is and why the water and it they're all they're always incredible scenes as well especially yeah. with the poles you know they're so mm. out in the open yeah yeah and sometimes when you land it like you can't get back and you have to jump in and yeah it's like yeah. part of that challenge and the moment we started taking them seriously and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, darling. the moment we started uh taking them seriously like bringing out loads of spare changes of clothes like mm. the sup boards to check the depths all this like you know, what are they called? Sup, a sup boards? Sup I don't know what that's. Hey, stand up. Hey, stand oh, up. Of, course of course it is. What the hell? Stand up paddle board for anyone. Paddle board. Here. I should be calling it paddle board. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm. it, that that adds to like the whole mission element yeah, for us yeah. as well. And the moment you've got any sort day of out, effort like. and mission put into a project, like, and you film that, it just adds to it all. It's like, oh, these guys, they've, they've done this before. Like, this yeah, is like yeah. a little bit more interesting to get into now. And then. You know, you got people like Sasha who just relentlessly attempts, 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 yeah, yeah. attempts, like line, you know, a shot of a handrail covered in drying clothes and that. And it just, yeah, I don't know. The water challenges, they just were a big unlock. And we'll do, I'm sure we'll do them until the end, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah. Kids, uh, well, they look so fucking Until fun. YouTube They're finds so a way to shut them, them down as well. No, no, like. no, no, no. Well, that was another thing. So we realized YouTube wasn't demonetizing the water challenges. Yeah. And like, mm. okay, oh, because just... you got restricted on the last one though, didn't you? Uh, that Age one, restricted, I think. Yeah, because of the because of the fail. Fail, of the yeah. Fail. It actually gives you a time code now. It's really handy. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. So, so you can basically like, say, okay, it, it was because it of was that. because of that. Because of I your ankle. Yeah, because of that clip. Weird, right? Weird. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have thought an ankle roll would get restricted. <laughs> I guess because they're like, look, risk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cotton, <laughs> cotton wool culture, mm. man. It's mm. proven, proven I risk. Hate it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so there, that recent Chatham episode, we did our first ever disclaimer. At the start. I saw that, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's so like that, a big, big boy. That'll be in does every, that help? every video. Does that... Now, that'll be in every video. We've realised that Ollie Norden can get his TikTok back by putting them at the beginning of every clip. So. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think TikTok really like opened, like made us realise that like it's just awful on that thing, man. Yeah. Like, you can have these horrible challenges that just I uploaded force a video. teenagers to stop eating. But then if you yeah. can upload a, yeah. a, a dangerous jump, like it's An extreme taken sport down. Thing, I uploaded it? a video of Keelan doing a descent and he then at the end just pulls his trousers down and it got removed for dangerous content. And I was like, is it because he pulled his trousers down or is it because he did the descent? I like, don't know who's clicking it. Who's clicking report? Like, yeah. Who is on TikTok clicking that thing, man? I'm Especially like, if they're on wild. TikTok. But yeah, it really, it really, really pisses us off actually, those age restrictions and all of that. And yeah. Less, less because it's a feature, like, of course it needs to exist, but yeah, the moderation of it. And it exists on the wrong thing. Cause then it's like, here's a video of a, I don't know, like a fucking, I was going to go the other way then, but you had, there's so much weird shit on YouTube of like, you know, 12 year old beauty pageants and things. And you go and look at the comments and it's like grotesque. And you're like, how is that allowed? Yeah, like yeah, who's yeah. moderating yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's mental. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Grinds my gears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, we'll, we'll definitely be doing more, more water challenges. Yeah, Yeah. so the, but the pit videos is like the new, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. new thing. Cause that we were saying earlier, along awesome. the same sort of train. So it's roofs and then water challenges and then pit. It's is just, now creeping in. <sighs> and, why, and why as well? Because I know we were talking beforehand, you did the one stuck in the big swimming, so pool. swimming pool. Was it some sort of reservoir thing? In the swimming, swimming pool in Bulgaria, yeah. That, oh, that was that. That was yeah. years ago, that right? That was years ago. And that was like, oh, we, 
we didn't even plan to make a video on that i don't think I and mean, then while we we're in there we were like fuck it let's get in teams and see how it does like, yeah, and yeah it was the first big viral in ages yeah and then yeah stuck in the abandoned reservoir like just because it was a big like warped wall type thing and uh they both just do so well it's the stuck in thing yeah and yeah like, and the idea that you couldn't get out but these guys you're watching might be able to get out because they do this funny sport like yeah the, um, it's weird yeah stuck in like stuck yeah in yeah viral <laughs> like, yeah. what is that about <laughs> yeah um i mean it's they're great fun there's this the the, ne the second one or third one i don't know that we did uh, jumping out of that like green tiled box. Oh, because I just realised yeah, that you, one was sick. And you just did stuck in quicksand, didn't you? Yeah. It's not yeah, even, yeah. Oh yeah. fuck. So that's the, probably the furthest stretch we've done. Not even a pitch. Years. So funny though. This is not a single bit of parkour. Stuck in, that, in a yeah, yeah. <laughs> stuck in a bath full of baked beans. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 but they're sick to watch they're not in the slightest cringe or anything so they all they all come from like uh a something doing well like mm, that's really yeah. what it is like we don't we didn't go to that place and think let's make a monday video like in this quicksand like that that just didn't pop into our head at all. yeah yeah mm. and then callum's clip getting stuck in it on instagram goes like crazy viral and you're like right you've got to listen to that and, yeah. act, and act on it right away like I yeah. think that's one thing that like, we've gotten good at now is really acting on the trends that and going cool that has potential yeah and, then and i guess like, it i mean it, it's always obviously going to help that you have the existing platform because it's like yeah. Yeah. The, the 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 launch pad is higher exactly. to get the, the elevation mm -hmm. isn't it yeah, yeah. yeah you're given a lot more potential for, yeah yeah for and the more which is just essentially the reward of getting to where you are is it makes it easier to continue yeah. which is mm -hmm. it's the same with everything isn't it like that's it yeah yeah but i mean saying that you know the last two years i'd say probably the last three uh, three four months it the channel's picked up again we happen to have slipped mm. into like a better algorithm and yeah videos are doing much better like sort of back to normal but we honestly had two years it started like just before the first lockdown and went and just continued through where the oh. views plummeted and we were just like oh man like we can't rely on adsense anymore We've got but was that our, like, was that like a factor of not being able to travel to such i mean obviously you found a lot of good uk places recently but i mean lockdowns affect hard to kind know. of affected everyone didn't hard they? to know you can never you can never like put your finger on it can you with yeah. all that sort of stuff mm. i think a big part of it definitely is the travel people realized oh they're training on their own for a bit like that's lame like i'm not interested in the lack of dynamic and whatever yeah yeah i don't know potentially Eventually we got a bit complacent we started relaxing into like the weekly like street rap videos and stopped putting mm. as much effort into so this is kind of a question i wanted to ask about like because it, it do you do you feel this i know there's there'll be huge amounts of people out there who obviously i mean given the virality of them love the the challenges etc and then there's also like i would say that probably the core park audience probably actually enjoy the street rat stuff totally yeah. more yeah do you feel a pull in either direction and like how do you guys try and achieve that balance what conversations do you have to because you guys could quite easily and i feel like a couple of years ago it maybe felt like you were moving slightly more in that path i don't know maybe when the the povs were really consistent and mm -hmm. then you did like the racing the tube and stuff like that yeah th there were periods where it felt like okay these guys are gonna go more down the like sorry like slightly gimmicky path yeah yeah yeah, yeah but yeah. then you've like I, I think you've got a really good balance now we tr yeah we try to i think part of that's probably just like growing up yeah and, and putting less weight on like the views almost it's like uh you know something can do well you do a lot more of it and then you can kind of lose yourself in that as in we've that. seen with mm. other sort of people in the community mm. and, and other sports and yeah you see all the time the like. beauty like in the team is that w the beauty of the seven really is that we always have someone like voicing a concern if if that wave starts to go a bit too far yeah, yeah. there's always someone like oh no but that's lame like we we did that before with this and mm. like i don't know or yeah there's always basically the yin and yang and that is always cycling and changing so you yeah my opinion three years ago is different to what it'll be in another three years and mm. the same with everyone in the team and we have this constant cycle i think if there were less members of the team or it was like one of us you know we'd have uh, we'd our heads would have just gone off in some horrible weird yeah way. yeah <laughs> that's the thing that i think you know. has just stood true for you guys for years is the this like balance of everything it, it does and I, I mean we've spoken about it loads on like roof culture and stuff but it does feel like yeah there will always be push and pull in different directions but it always leads like there's that cohesive kind of try to yeah yeah mm. points in the right direction it's because we'll do like a lineup of, of concept videos or something like the 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 pit videos recently and with the quicksand and all that and uh and you once you do a few in a row and you look at your little list on your channel you know your recent videos or whatever and you see a few in a row something like 
pokes us in the back of the head now. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like something's there, just like ah, like doesn't feel ah, like we should just go training tomorrow. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you go training, and I've realised recently, like they're the only ones I watch again. Like, mm. Yeah, the I really like I the watch. training ones. Yeah, the Are they like the the balance now of like it doesn't really feel like an edit anymore? Do you know what I mean? It doesn't feel yeah. like the video's trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just yeah. kind of happens. And you're there, trying you tra with you, the boys. Yeah, exactly. On the screen. We were watching yeah, yeah. last night and it was the same thought with all of us, which is like, yeah, it seems a lot more like relaxed, but you, the attention's still there. Well, we recently unlocked nice. no music. That's uh, mm. yeah, we were thinking that's about a big that, one. Yeah. So we we tried like, mm. what was it? Half, the, half of the video you made, the end of the was, Crawley video, we just took off the music. And also it's that- It's so nice to watch back as well. It's that, like just watching um, back memories. It's yeah. really good. What, what do we call it? Park was a garage quick scheme. Keelan was like trying different edit styles and all that footage. And it said we couldn't get it working. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a crack at it. And Keelan was like, just take off all the music. And I did, but it was a little too raw. So I then just got like a few like stock tracks, lowered the volume to like minus 20 and just literally no, like I think I did one pass where I just tweaked a couple of cuts onto like, you know, yeah. beats and vibes and things. And then exported and people fucking loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. it's just like, it was never gonna blow up, but for no, just, but just as a, to watch it, it's just, they get to see parkour. Yeah. yeah. But our Broadfield nice. episode, like the one you went to the same spot you went to a week after. Yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. Um, that was, when did we, I can't remember what we were basing what? it on. We were basing it on an older, really raw video where we were bumping into loads of crazy characters on the street. Mm. We were just like, we need, where can we go? Where there'll just be loads of funny people on the street. Where are the crazies? <laughs> Honestly, and like Max and Ben were just like, yeah, all right, creepy crawly and Drew as well. Like creepy crawly, got to go there. Um, and we knew there was a bunch, there was a spot there they got, those guys wanted to go back to anyway, the, yeah. bri the bridge with the rails yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff. Um, and then, yeah, like, uh, oh, why have I forgotten his name? Do you guys know his name? The, our, co our new coach. What's his name? Oh. New coach? Yeah. Oh, the guy who rocked up. Why have I forgotten his name? Oh, what? Uh, the Crawley guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was hoping we'd see him when, he, when yeah, we got him. Yeah, gutting. Yeah, gutting. He was, he was a prime energy. Was yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it kicked off like that and we were just like, yeah, let's just play it raw because the moment you... The moment you take away a song from an edit, you're no, you're no longer like restricted to the pattern of that song. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the, the song starts dying off and you start pulling something from later on or earlier that isn't action and you want to put that in there and it turns into like what you watch on TV or like yeah. you know, it turns into that sort of montage type, I don't know, type beat, I don't know. And, yeah. Uh, but then, you know, like raw phone clips on Instagram, they just do, mm. you just love watching like a raw phone clip, like without a song on it. And there's something about that. And like, yeah, you do just feel like, and it's closer to like a, a stream, like a live stream or something. Yeah, yeah. It's the real personalities and you'd see it's totally un, like it's no longer sugar coated with a vibe that's preset yeah, by yeah, a song. Yeah. Like, because the song can change everything. Totally, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. much. And you know, before we had our like music bank, big up so everyone send them music to store it's saved our lives um <laughs> before we had that like you know you, you're essentially just going with whatever song you like and it, the vibe might not quite be what the day felt like but because it's a good song you you use yeah it. i mean you were the We've fucking master that. of that you had your playlist on spotify and you'd have i mean this is like pre d like yeah, yeah you yeah. know back in the day and you would find some exceptional song that no one's ever heard before, yeah. which then turns into something that's like a parkour cult mute. Like you go to every fucking gym and people have got yeah. a playlist of, <laughs> and half the songs are edited by you, but you edit it, ruin the song for yourself. Yeah. And, uh, and you, you create a vibe, don't you? you and it doesn't necessarily, it's, it's, it, you, it's different. It yeah. Is, it's and you get this, like, different. people are like, wow, your life looks amazing. And it's like, no, I just made it look amazing <laughs> yeah. by setting it to totally, a very happy. To totally. Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Cause that is what you, and uh, those at, in that age, when I was at that age, when I was saving those songs and that, that was the feeling I had when I come back from training. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I still get it now, but like you can, you can get there with raw footage. And I think if you can with raw footage, like there's beauty in that, like, mm. you know. I think that. you guys also like, yeah. you have become masters of knowing, well, one, portraying your personalities in a very genuine way, but also putting them out enough that they're captured mm. and yeah. capturing the right stuff. And then obviously you guys editing it. It's like, you, you've, you've, I mean, it's just refined. Over the years, it's got very fucking refined. Oh, like, appreciate it. Appreciate so, it. We've tried. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, a, it's another thing is just that, is the angle so having multiple cameras on yeah it makes mm. those raw videos a lot more um if you've edited for a long time you know how to like map a story in a rough arc like those multiple angles give you that flexibility that you 
had with a song you know if you know what yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah yeah you can make that art whereas if you just have one camera it's a, it is a lot harder for sure so you're, fi- you're fixed to that footage you've got there even setting up a little static angle that just rolls the whole time while someone's on a handy cam or something like that will give you a whole yeah another I've got even so, i got so many post, really like. boring questions <laughs> like how do you deal with all your footage <laughs> like are you editing in are you yeah. editing in premiere yeah, yeah, yeah. To and be fair, I'm yet, I need to do this for like join or something. I've mm. been, I really want to do some sort of like, I feel horrible calling it a masterclass, but I want to do something with Sash. Yeah, um, you should. And, and get chatting as, as part of like some sort of series with all the editors like you yeah. guys and, and other guys around the world that have, that have done it for so long. But because um, we're always been asked and I'm doing things now where I'm like, oh, this would help a lot of people, I mm. swear. <laughs> well, I mean, just even you saying like a static angle r- rolling for the whole time, it's like, yes, that's a great idea awful to then scroll through and find yeah, the yeah, clips yeah. and i'm like ah select it's yeah. weird because you wouldn't think that some of the angles you get like when you just set up a gopro on the floor they wouldn't always look that great if you were just to do that on their own yeah but you're right with like matched with everything else it just suddenly just looks That's like it. it flows and you catch the whole way through. You catch stuff you'd never catch before. yeah yeah, yeah exactly. exactly i mean me and sash now have just we've just put resolution out the window we're uploading in 4k now but we are sometimes zooming in on those oh, yeah, 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 like yeah. as far as you can go and um pixelating the hell out of someone's face if they do something embarrassing yeah <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. with sick. um with like raw now as well if you're not using music is it easier to i don't know if you ever kind of fake it but it it seems like with your videos towards the end there's always something that kind of wraps it up like with the recent one with benji's like jump mm. i don't know if that was right at the end no it, well, no we were doing the slides down the there was a thing. slides down but it seems to be that that it there's always a bit of a story going on it doesn't like get dry towards the end and i don't know whether that's something that you think about beforehand like oh if we're going here we should end with this or uh occasionally occasionally yeah. um usually the hardest challenge or, you know a water challenge location or something like we'll go to last you know and that just is half the reason is because you've warmed up and you're yeah. ready to do it and and it works better for the videos but the um the raw the raw edits to be honest they're totally chronological like we don't, yeah. nothing is um i don't re we don't rejig the orders or anything um but you just got to feel the edit i don't know it's hard to uh, after doing it so long like i i um, have this hypersent me and sasha this sort of hypersensitivity to the feel and energy of the edit and the pace mm. and like right so we're here now if you've got to 20 minutes you're in this video you're watching this video so now let's just try and make it as because yeah, you're as pushing the length like possible. didn't you do one that was an hour long recently gave that a go that did very well yeah very strange it was an hour long what one was that um wow wasn't it holes bts hey yeah holes, BTS. i haven't watched it i have I, I don't think i've watched anything that's an hour long in nine that's months so <laughs> but it's yeah. so sick to be able to just put that together yeah yeah so people that, can that, probably put that on and it's just like a flow it's just on mm. that one's a, that one was a weird one didn't expect that to do as well as it did youtube mm. really is pushing it though mega uh, yeah mega long form is doing really well loves the watch time yeah. yeah whatever keeps you on that website as long as possible yeah um mm. Uh, and that video has just overtaken the actual edit. It's hilarious. Wow. Like the actual action cut of holes. We love, like, we love yeah, watching yeah, that. Yeah. Love a oh, like sne- love a steezy edit and all that. But we realise now, like, the steezy, uh, the harder you go in on a on a montage edit, there's no, you know, Payoff, you're not yeah. you're not doing that for views. Basically, you're doing mm. that you're doing that for your own, you know, for yeah. your own thing. It's for me and Sash to feel like we can input some skill into yeah. sort of some type of visual. So is it this, worth going on to the editing yeah, sort of Yeah, because I mean, I feel like we're just talking just YouTube, but I kind of want to talk a bit of Toby. Mm, and given right. that we're talking about YouTube, let's yeah, talk yeah, Toby. Yeah. Toby and YouTube, it's, uh, you got, what time is it? Oh, chilling, chilling. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, how is the creative process with regards to like, I mean, you guys are very well set, I think, in terms of like your delegation. It feels like you and Tasha are pretty i mean yeah i guess we can ask is your role pretty much just youtube like and sort of other editing bits aside like let's ignore all the other things you do outside of it, things, it's all the edit we're doing for youtube for Stora, yeah. like your role is you are you are you pretty much just focused on video creation and training obviously yeah uh, yeah i think so yeah uh, these days like in terms of like ideas generation and stuff everyone's fairly on the same yeah same yeah wave but um, so like your weekly but, quota of sort of work for star is pretty much just editing mm, yeah yeah and turn up at session yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah so how how from a creative standpoint where you are like the master of the steezy edit how is knocking out an edit every single week after years now like because you yeah, i long. think 
It's you, not, yeah, you, yeah, you messaged me a while ago and we were talking about something and you were like, sometimes I just don't enjoy the edit until like the final bit or something. And like- yeah. it, That's very much the case. And I think will be now for yeah. the rest of the time I'm editing this consistently. Um, yeah. We've got fairly good split now. Like we've got a duo set up at Sasha's now, which to be fair, I, have, I haven't been over too much lately and I need to get on that because we work so much more efficiently when we're sitting next to each other as you guys probably know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This new space. Um, We've got a new editor, uh, Hannah, actually. Um, I think we were, we were just talking yeah, about we were this. Saying, yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, Hannah Snow. Uh, she used to do her own YouTube channel and was really just uh, really great with the whole, like, you know, high pace, meme like uh, style of edit. Mm. And um, I was looking for, for months and I, was, I wasn't really putting in too much effort to it, but I, I, we did a call out. I got in loads of emails from all over the world. Yeah, People yeah. want to edit for Stora and help us out because me and Sash were really like losing our like, we were at our wits end, you know, like we were like losing our- <laughs> Well, it's just like, oh, because I mean, how many weeks ahead are you with regards to f f filming? It totally varies. Yeah. Right, right now we're like, uh, we're one ahead. Like mm -hmm. your next, because I mean, so sometimes cool. it's either a bit of a slog because you're just like, oh, I'm just getting a video out. Like we're working on the video; it's going to come out in two weeks' time. Or I guess you're rushing, which then you have, in some ways, a good amount of pressure, but also that's horrible. Mm, yeah, we're very good now at like knowing what type of video is going to be a bit of a grind. Yeah, um, and we'll make sure that's shot earlier in the week, so me and Sasha have the time and stuff. Um, me and Sasha have a like a sort of half and half process now uh, for the longer edits. That yeah we split um but since we've had hannah on board it's been really good we can basically we have we don't give her the cuts that involve like really um you know that needs movement to be portrayed well yeah okay. and, and things like that um she doesn't do parkour or whatever um so uh the edits we have given to her on that level uh, you know they've involved a lot of like feedback a lot of like drafts uh, yeah and a lot of it's just like don't cut into that run you know, so use she use this she, angle instead, use that attempt instead, and you really mm -hmm. need a crazy understanding of sport. To, oh, for uh, sure, course, yeah. To edit parkour, to edit a so, sport. So some yeah. of the Monday videos are registered by her then. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the pit videos we've given to her, like oh, think, the concept videos, oh, the concept okay. style. It makes videos. sense with the pit ones. I feel yeah, like. yeah, yeah. The pit videos. Um, ah, what what else? Um, Has any of the like sit down ones? Not maybe not star awards, down, yeah, but those. Yeah, we're giving those to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and Chris Thompson did one of them in the past as well, but he's a busy man. He's, uh, mm, yeah, he's, yeah. He's doing his own bits. Um, but yeah, Hannah, Hannah's been great. Um, she's just very, seems very efficient and uh, can just look. Is she at it. she Brighton based. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so that's got... that's the diff that was the difficulty. I'm like I'm I'm getting all these great editors send stuff in. Mm. It's like yeah, I'd love to work with you, but I'm not sending. 300 gig of footage to australia like, yeah, yeah 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 and hoping yeah. that that's going to come back you know like in time and all of this what are you doing then just meeting up in person and swapping our drives yeah yeah she's around uh sash and sylvia's the whole yeah. all the time and um and yeah you just yeah, run the cards over and yeah she's, qu she's quick and just understands youtube and is able to look at the team from that like outsider's that's public sick. perspective yeah uh, that probably helps which to be is honest. great yeah yeah and i think part of it like for me and sash has been that we've just like held on to the edits ourselves for so long because we really do like care about them you know and mm. it's like part of Stora's identity is, is circulates around the videos and, yeah um, and we've gotten so used to you know six seven years of um consistency of, 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 of essentially controlling that that mm. image right so like you know these days I, I try not to cut anything out you know if it's like if it's uh, derogatory to someone's personality or you know it's a bit controversial or whatever I'm mm. like you know everyone's human beings and that's yeah. why you want to watch a video you want to know that you're watching the people and you're not seeing a version of them you know another yeah. facade or whatever so i'll rip the shit out myself you know and beth and my girlfriend's just like oh who had it who had it <laughs> this one they've just totally fucking done you over there i'm like oh it's actually yeah i, I made this one yeah, i'm just <laughs> that's so that's good. perfect yeah that definitely um, shows like it, it, it all looks so natural as well I feel like that's probably just to do with doing it a lot of times, but ripping into people. Getting comfortable like, with the camera so as well now. Yeah. yeah, it's only the last few years. Everyone's actually comfortable having a camera chucked in their face, mm. you know, and, yeah, being, yeah. and being themselves. Um, that was that took a very long time mm -hmm. um, for everyone to get on, on with. Um, but 
God, you've yeah. been doing consistency for a long time. Because I think it was when we, we missed, missed our first Monday every week, didn't we? Oh, the other yeah. Month. yeah. But only for, the you got store, it out on the next day, Star right? Star Awards, yeah. It, it was at midnight. It was at midnight. Yeah. The Star Chat, just like, oh. <laughs> it's guys, happened. Like, it's happened, yeah. And, on and the Star Awards as well. <laughs> the one everyone was waiting <laughs> yeah, for. Everyone yeah. was waiting for, little watch parties and yeah, everything yeah, around the country. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that really actually kicked us into gear. Yeah. We got our backlog again. Um, but yeah, back to the backlog, like sometimes we have four weeks ahead. That's sick. Sometimes we're a week ahead. But when we have the four weeks ahead, we're really bad. Mm -hmm. And then keeping that up, yeah. we mm -hmm. sit back and relax. And it's like, oh, nice. We yeah, don't have yeah, to yeah, get yeah. out a camera every session now. You know Yeah, because I, mean? I guess you can do like a Lisbon trip or whatever and just go, cool, that's four videos. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, we definitely like, we've held pride in the edits, me and Sash. And I think we want to always have some input in on the edits especially mm. on the on the sort of cinematic projects things like that i think we'll oh for sure but, yeah but my dream you know down the line is that we only do those you know yeah that's yeah, that's yeah. the dream like is that, oh, okay. is that the passion projects are the yeah. ones we go in on and not and just you can the, put more time into them that's right. it yeah because yeah. i mean man like we, me and sash we lost our weekends like all the time we're not ahead of ourselves as a team which takes well, know, i think the first time we've been trying to obviously get this dialed in for a while and it's kind of it's You've so been busy, we've been busy and things. It, but I think it was like the first conversation we had about getting you up. You were like, can't do Sunday just in case. Like, and we were like two weeks out, but yeah. it was oh, like, really? just, just in case you've got to rush, like yeah. finish the edit. Said, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, mean, our whole lives are just, uh, just circulate around worrying. The Monday upload, yeah. yeah. And then like, actually the chat video I was up, it was my first all nighter in a long time. Not proud, mm. not proud of, up, <laughs> you know, up till just 8 a.m. Like, Seriously? Yeah, mate. Yeah, night, yeah, yeah. night shift. Yeah, yeah. And Pretty like, much. And I'm honest, to be honest, like <laughs> the, the edits I enjoy the most is ridiculous. Mate, that was all you back in the day. Yeah, like man. you and Sasha were just fucking nocturnal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember just coming over to help, like not help, but like sit around when you were doing Super Tramps. Yeah. And you were just literally all night. And then <laughs> and just like one of you would sleep on the sofa for a bit and wake up, keep going. Super Tramps is weird. That, looking that was, back on that, I'm like, I lost years of my life doing that. Yeah. Like, and then move culture, like, I was just, for, it was four months. Like, mm. Sash did the first few months, you helped. Oh, and you did the first bit, you did the first bit in fucking China, didn't you? Cut selects in a hotel, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah wow. Yeah. Did a month and yeah, it just wasn't being used on a film. And yeah. Just used all that time to do selects. That was a blessing, to be fair. I had a purpose whilst mm. on the worst job of all time. Like, yeah, yeah. So that was all right. Um, but yeah, like the, the roof culture, the rest of the cut, I mean, I was getting up at, one in the afternoon and go to bed at five in the morning. And when you weren't doing that, you were doing Mary Poppins. Wow. Cause when I was staying at yeah, yours, yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. were getting What's up at Mary like, Poppins? He, they were doing stunts on Mary Poppins. So I stayed, oh, really? I stayed okay. at Toby's for a bit and he'd like wake up, make me a coffee and then go off to set. And then I was, cause I was helping grade and some stuff. And then I'd sit there all day and then he'd come back and then you'd edit for a few hours and then go to bed and then do it all again. Jesus Awful. Christ. It's like squeezing it in wherever possible. You know possible. what? That's probably what having this space, you kind of get a bit, um, what's the word? There you go, complacent, because you don't do that. I think, do you know what I mean? You don't have to do that. Like, this is healthier. Is point, I know, right? but then yeah, you yeah. kind of, because then you end up sometimes chilling here a bit, just just for like, have lunch and then just yeah. a few minutes later. I mean, that's more how we do it now. To be yeah, honest. it's I'm more there. sustainable, I guess, but when you've got to get something done. That was messed up. That was like, we were on Poppins and the America premiere was, was coming up. up. Yeah. And, and I was like, this is up to me. Like, Giles yeah. is grading bless up i was like this is great <laughs> i'm i'm away from the edit right now and it's being done i was like this is an amazing feeling like it was the first time i had it in months but i knew that there was more cut to be done yeah 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 and this um, sound this, these and flights all were coming up the cinemas were booked you know all of this it was just horrible and then one night i was up it was near the end of uh, the whole thing and i think i went to bed at like four or something I had to be up at six for Mary Poppins, like, and it was one of the shoot days. So the rehearsals and that, bad to miss, but you can get away with it, you know, mm. like for the shoot days, if you're missing, like, Jesus, yeah, that's, yeah. Not, that's not on, you know? And I'm outside, like, trying to start my motorbike, like, and the kill switch is on, but I'm so delirious that, like, oh, I don't realize the kill switch, basically the kill switch is on, you can't start the bike, it's like a safety thing or whatever. Mm. So I'm turning this, I'm like, my fucking bike's broken down, like, I'm, I'm not, 
and that was my first ever experience of a full-blown panic attack <laughs> really <laughs> and i was like that is what it will do to you man yeah like, you know, those schedules like it doesn't matter how stable you might have been four months prior <laughs> that True. schedule will break you like and i didn't realize you know i got so used to it and i, and I was almost like proud of the fact that i could just like do that <laughs> and like whatever and yeah, yeah i was missing all the training sessions all of this and uh you know looking back i could deal with it then i didn't have any other life to be doing you know whatever yeah but um yeah i was lying on my front doorstep taking my helmet off I was all claustrophobic like hyperventilating on the thing. <laughs> and then it took me like 10 minutes to calm down and like get oh, i got back on the bike like realized the kill switch was there felt like an absolute <laughs> switched it on and uh and got to mary poppins and then fortunately managed to get the edit done for for the Jesus yeah. Christ! But I was rendering from Poppins, so I was rendering the PNG. I remember, sequences, yeah, um, and, I, and I paid for this like remote editor, not remote editor, like a remote control thing. So I was using a, someone else's laptop to remote control my computer at home. Fuck off! Like, rend, yeah, yeah, rend, yeah. Like That's on, sick. on set, like trying to render these PNG sequences. So you're rendering pictures. That yeah, are massive. Yeah. Right? And uh, I'd have to get my mum to go up and I'd call my mum and be like, can you restart my computer? Like, I need to restart and open this program. I love it. I wish this sort of shit was documented. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's yeah, actually yeah. fucked. We, the tried. we tried a bit. We did a little bit, yeah. It was too stressful at the end. Well, yeah, because you've got to think about then documenting to it too. It. And it's just... Had to make it just get it done. Yeah. The um, the PNG thing's a fucking lifesaver because I use that for Soul Destroyer. And it's like, we'll probably use it for Soul because mm. that giant sequence will not export. Yeah, Premiere will yeah. try it'll be like yeah I can handle this and it'll go like four hours and you'll be like cool and then it's, mm. it'll break and it'll keep breaking and what you do is you export the audio separately and then you export everything as frames of PNGs oh, okay. and you have a giant folder just filled with images mm. this, is then, this is gobbledygook for everyone but yeah. like basically like if a render fails you're back to the start and you don't yeah. know why it failed right? yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. so it, what the PNGs do is yeah. it fails but you've still got all those little pictures saved in a folder okay. so you can see the literal frame that it paused on so you can go re in restart your render from that's there that's fucking yeah. good because it it's even good. fails sometimes rendering when you're not rendering the whole thing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. you just so, go in and change like you either just try again or you do the old like you know stick an adjustment layer on a a fucking clip for no reason yeah. did you get any savage fucking serious errors on any of the big projects you know when it just serious error occurs and just fucks out I guess you probably ought to uh, say are you saving Premier, it to be constantly honest, Premiere's better than it used to be yeah I was on Premiere 2.0 has yours, yeah, has I yours jumped on after spitting in the wind so I was not on <laughs> that when it was yeah. shit has, has your Premiere just have you, have you opened Premiere in the last two days is it updated for you no it's no. mine's just updated and it's all it's not all completely different but there's like the export window is a completely different is it? it looks yeah, more it's like social media friendly now. It's I very think. social media friendly. It's oh very God, tab yeah. based. It, feel, like it feels a little bit Final Cut. And yeah, I was just yeah, like, yeah. whoa. But yeah. you'll be fun. I want to go to Da Vinci, but um, I'm, I'm uh, like Premiere is like a limb for me now. Yeah. Um, yep. I am at one with. <laughs> You're the program. fucking shortcut, <laughs> the shortcut master. <laughs> like. I've realized now I've got like five keys missing now. Or every letter I use. Like, wow. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, I'm, I'm so bad with lack of shortcuts. <laughs> I have a couple and then I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, so. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Um, you're not doing the Red Bull thing, are you? I thought I'd see your name on the list. No, I was a uh, judge. I was. But, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, um, sick. But the Stora stuff around June is just looking too yeah, up yeah, in yeah. the air. Um, so, yeah, well, I was mm. like, I, I can't deal with the stress of not be, of, of, of potentially pulling out Yeah, yeah, of um, course. later. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Film, but yeah. Um, where shall we go? I'm aware we're gonna we we gotta be careful with time. Mm -hmm. But oh, I mean, speaking of kind of I guess videos, and you've touched on it a little bit, but something that I'm just curious to sort of know about purely from because of what I'm always trying to stay on top of here is like how what what systems what structure do you have to stay consistent to stay organized? Like I I I know you guys used to just operate sort of solely out of WhatsApp and things, but I mean, are you have you just got a slightly kind of bigger operation than that with regards to like trying to schedule, trying to plan? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, hmm. like, I'm yeah, very, I, I got my own personal like, you know, list building and cal calendar and things that I use Notion for, which is like a yeah. task manager thing. Yeah. But uh, we, we try now to uh, have an actual like non-social meeting every week now. Yeah. We yeah. try to just like, we said it was Mondays, but so far it just hasn't been Mondays, you know, how it is, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but um, yeah, like after the Monday video, we try and meet and just basically just chat about the next video. Because it is work, next... isn't it? At the end of the day, like you- Totally, man. Yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. you've got you've, you've to keep it consistent and structured and things. And it's yeah, like- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, motivation moves around the team. Yeah. So, so someone's always, you know, 
more up for something than someone else and it's gotten to the point now where you follow the most motivated mm. and before you know it you're as motivated as they are um so you know like we're just it's like oh do we have to i've just done an edit do we have to meet like and chat about this next video and you, by the time you've turned up and you're actually now you're getting excited for the next water challenge or that's like so yeah, good. the yeah. next that's pit video or how to make the next video pop a bit harder or like you know what's going to be fun and, and when we should just go training and what mm -hmm. spots we want to hit like you get into it you know and you realize actually yeah this is the dream like yeah people would totally fucking kill to be in this position oh to for be sure able to just chat about videos and know that like it's going to pay your rent and like yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. It, and it's con and it's you know sustainable yeah um and you're having fun in the process like yeah uh drew's very good at being like right these are the dates like we yeah, need to yeah. we need to we need to actually like get that done or it's not going to get done you know that sort of thing um he's very much like a background grinder in terms of the big projects and yeah stuff. yeah um the big sort of long-term stuff uh benj is very good at like you know okay let's, Google Maps. let's shoot well yeah and and just like let's shoot this video like tomorrow like yeah. is everyone about like this is the plan for the video he's got very good like vision for what video is sort mm. of coming um and then yeah me and sasha just constantly conscious of like okay now we can't really shoot that then we're not gonna have time to do this we mm. need to edit then we need to edit then um but yeah it's sort of just like a constant cycle like we try and remain as cohesive and and respectful for each other uh, the whole time because you know there's times when you when you clash and you disagree with things and whatever but we got to the point now where those clashes are like very brief and they you put all, them to bed quite quickly yeah. yeah and they're very like and they usually solve something you know it mm. actually usually like brings something out that's like okay actually okay let's let's consider that let's not you know because of the i suppose it's that mutual respect that fortunately we still all have that's um, sick. for each other but yeah like motivation drops off for people and and you know and stuff happens in your lives and you just sort of like you have to just be aware of that uh, across the board and yeah and sensitive to it occasionally so people you know will tap out for a couple of weeks or or come back in or you know injuries get you down you don't want to come and hold a camera like yeah you know, mm -hmm. is i mean it from from what you've said it it very much feels like sort of oh, <laughs> everything is pretty I guess, I guess because it's weekly everything is so focused around the video like mm. you basically what you're saying there's video video holding a camera video 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 obviously you have got bigger projects that always happen there's the game and we've got yeah. stuff like that but like is it pretty much like it's just the kind of i don't know how you describe it but it's like the the driving force is just always like the persistence to get that video out yeah the mondays are the were the key to the story success like because this i mean the moment we decided mm. to do a monday and everyone was on board with that and we didn't have other commitments like and then we got so deep in that yeah. our egos wouldn't let us miss a monday <laughs> 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 that's that, that honestly that's the key that was the key yeah. and the seed to it all yeah yeah um, yeah yeah i think so anyway that's my gauge of it. Mm. Yeah, yeah yeah does it like can i just ask you to bring your mic tiny bit up oh, yeah. when or, you're or saying point it slightly more at your mouth i'm just it doesn't stay up look you can you can yeah. tighten <laughs> tighten the shit down. Doesn't you got stay up. you got climbing hands loosen that and then crank the shit out of it and then that, yeah now crank it it's not gonna come down there yeah people who aren't watching that it's gonna sound so great hey. <laughs> yeah, it, will, it will do Is that better um yeah. all right the because i so like the internal conversation we have constantly like yeah, literally yeah. all the time it's just mm -hmm. like how much effort we should be putting as a sort of company brand whatever what, into content into like the the consistent youtube content and as people who've watched our stuff would have seen it fluctuates massively yeah, yeah. we find little trends and then we dip down and like the only two things that we seem to be relatively consistent with is this because we have this under one roof yeah like that's mm -hmm. what we did here is we were like if we're gonna build out this area and the, the 10 questions thing like we're going to make it controllable but it's like the training content everyone loves training no one does it as much as they probably should mm. and we all every time we go out training we're like we need to do this more mm. and every time we release a training video we're like we love doing this <laughs> but we've never stuck well, we don't stick consistent with a certain to video it. style and this, I, is, I, this is related but you know you're saying how benj kind of says like we've got this idea let's shoot it tomorrow do you and sash ever kind of like have to brainstorm like well how are we going to film this how are we going to do that or do you literally kind of turn up everyone's got cameras and then you just deal with that afterwards do you a, know what i mean how it's a like, lot of it's yeah out. like and that you know, just me and Sash, we'll, 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 we'll work it out you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. that sort of thing but uh i think most of the time someone's motivated to train and that's the that is the lucky fortunate thing about us seven like the mm. seven guys we're all on the same wave in terms of like 
our life right our yeah. life situation our our general like day to day is because we all started in the same boat yeah you know at, at home trying to pay a couple hundred quid rent for a few years and we were all in that same at, at that same time we were the same people like that is just the total fluke of the seven stories like yeah that. yeah yeah and the skill sets happened to line up all right that none of them clashed none of us do the same thing essentially um and uh that is pretty much what has driven the consistency i think it's yeah, yeah. I say it, i've said it so much through here but it's this constant cycle of motivation someone mm. is always motivated and i think like in your situation you're actually all in very different like oh yeah like planes in life right so you you jars have to take a lead like you have to like yeah you have to feel like you're the umbrella for motus and like that, yeah, that yeah, yeah. alone is like enough work for anyone Mate, it's the hardest fucking yeah. thing in the world and and it it's just now i have this I can't say now I have this fucking baby. That sounded like the most negative <laughs> thing. But from a time, no, Jesus Christ, no, she's, she's the love of my life. But from a time perspective, it's like I now have this entire thing that exists in my world that is, it's a constant and yeah. it's an un like not unavoidable because I want to avoid it, but it's like, I have to, yeah. I have absolutely, it's not like, oh, I've got to go and see this girl. It's yeah, like, yeah. this is my life, yeah. um, which is and mental. Man. And then, yeah, and then we got these guys and it's like, that's it, man. And I mean that like, and then the next down, like, it, cause I've said like the next, the next level down it, already, like you've got a hierarchy, right? There is yeah. just, there is a hierarchy. I know. Right? And it's it like, involves, and that instantly will change everything that changes the dynamic. It doesn't, Keelan, you're probably fucking loving the fact that you can work here and whatever, but you're working here. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and you're not on the same level, like in terms of just like, uh, uh, I hate talking about like a level of hierarchy because you probably don't work there. together and that, you have that yeah, synergy. Yeah. But, yeah. And then because you're like the, the, that, at that point, you're then the umbrella for the rest of the athletes, probably like mm. this is like an outside perspective. For, I don't know. Yeah. And then, so someone has to be motivated to go out and train. If you feel like you're doing that to get everyone else out, that's tough like and yeah, that's yeah, tough. Yeah, yeah and you and you're the one that responsible for that and then you have uh, uh, uh you know a bunch of if people are either like they they fall into like a following pattern i follow whatever the plan is or you make the plan and if it's too much to make the plan too much too much energy and 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 you know it's it's t it's t hard to make that plan yeah the whole time which is the case then uh you're going to have those breaks and you're going to lose the consistency yeah. and with Sor it's ther therapy with toby yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think i'm 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 butchering this like but no I but you're coming across it. like it like, makes total I mean, sense this because is, i've noticed funny. it with story man like i can just mm. like sit when i injure myself it's like oh my god but i know that someone else is motivated right now yeah like, someone else is motivated or like callum's you know he's, he's just like look guys let's just go training like why do we have to climb out a pit like why have we got a like, <laughs> you know, yeah yeah he's there like doing that and then you know there's then there's Max, like, but guys, if we climb out of the pit, like, it's going to get millions of views, and we can uh, chill for a bit and like yeah. relax and this, and then, and then, uh, yeah, and then, and then Sash is like, oh, but you know, there's this, there's this smoke pellets I've got for the new cinematic project, and suddenly you're excited for that. Yeah, like, there's this constant cycle. Um, Josh, entirely creative, like, less driven for the like push my parkour side of things now, and more on the side of like, oh, I've seen this new weird abstract music video less less mm -hmm. i'll start planning the next clothing thing and you have this the mutual respect means that you're always putting the effort and that's the thing it's that it's that mutual respect that means you get up and you work for story like because the work happens when you're not training right that's pretty yeah, much it. yeah the yeah. moment you're training you're like you're laughing like, yeah you know what i mean you might feel like you're going out for a day of work when you're just not feeling it but the moment you've warmed up and you're like fucking getting stuck into a challenge mm. like that's the core of it all and as long as we all still enjoy like getting stuck into a challenge like story will just keep playing on like yeah you know, the moment the moment you lose the sense of like wanting that challenge and wanting to try hard and feeling proud for the output like that's when you would drop off and um yeah mm -hmm. yeah and when you said about outsourcing all, did you say outsourcing all the editing maybe at some point like in the future i mean for me and sash we went for a, now that we've got hannah like it's amazing like yeah. how much difference that one extra person makes because it means that we have sundays mm. <laughs> yeah like, yeah it's like those simple things like that simple Beth's little like, things like that yes. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah weekends are back that's yeah, it yeah, yeah. that's good to hear and that means that you can get more hyped for the other projects and things and yeah and just and, and relax that time. and enjoy the edits you do do a little bit more yeah um, but yeah i really don't enjoy editing like that i really really don't like um 
I mean, you know, and that, but the the saving grace is that well, we're at, subconsciously is that it gives me that some type of balance in mm. terms of like a grind. Like I think um, it would be easy for me to get like complacent and take the store life for granted it's if, nice to have a bit of adversity if some like, of it wasn't a bit of a grind yeah that yeah. i just don't like doing you know and like uh, yeah when i'm really really just hating my life at doing an edit and pulling selects and like realize we've got way more footage than we needed and like i'm trying to like dig and this i really really hate it like yeah, <laughs> really, no, 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 i know what like, you mean and i think the, the older i get the more i need to be outside and physical and, and active to yeah. stay like sane happy like yeah my, so much of my happiness relies on being outdoors and using my hands and 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 not sitting down on a fucking chair staring at <laughs> that screen and i hate staring at that screen for so long and i really do and that's like why like we got the little duo set up to try and make that a bit more bearable and a bit more social and a, you know yeah. whatever um i think it's a I'm geo like, setup then i was trying to i was like what <laughs> the, yeah the duo setup yeah um, around sashes we got two nice like setups with the big central hard drive that we yeah, can yeah. dip into and do all that um but yeah and then i have these you know a few weeks off where sasha's taken an edit hannah's taken an edit and you're like oh i'm like wow like this is this is nice but um but then yeah. you appreciate outsides even more than you used to probably oh you always appreciate oh, outside but now it's like more and more like yeah. through i think it's as more responsibilities rolling isn't it like yeah. Charles, you know yeah yeah like it's uh well anyone with any responsibilities you know those responsibilities don't ever slow down um and i mean might not i don't have that many like it's not that much yeah, really yeah. Like, but um yeah that time outdoors or whatever like i want a little garage and like i want to be able to like like build some build a motorbike shit and like, <laughs> no, let's be kind of i like working with wood man like, oh fuck me you two should get together oh i love it floggy's, yeah, 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 a, yeah. floggy's like built half the fuck he's built a sofa up there and everything it's like. meditation man like, it's, <laughs> it's honestly you get lost in it and mm. and i found that with climbing as well like yeah that's what I, the beauty of the climbing for me is that i don't need to worry about hurting myself when i try 100 percent. yeah because my, my parkour style is just like destined for breaking my fucking face, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> if I want to keep trying as hard as I can with my style of parkour, like I'm hurting myself. You like, are allowed to like, change your style, <laughs> like you can. Oh, totally, and I've tried. Man. <laughs> I've tried. Like I've tried. Like I've I've given it. I've entertained it, and I like to try. Like I love trying things that I'm bad at. Yeah, like, I really enjoy it. But parkour, there's some things I just find really, really hard to the point where. 360 pre's man and side flips Jesus yeah i can't side flip. i wish i could do them <laughs> <laughs> but the shit you're doing like in the in brighton that alleyway thing i think a while ago you did like a 180 and then into the yeah yeah do you know what i mean yeah. like that shit I, it's not like destined to break yourself probably no no totally yeah, 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 yeah. like no, that sort of shit's sick i know but what what makes me go home like buzzing that i've progressed like is a big old some wham yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> running full sprint as some, some massive running arm yeah. jump or i don't know it's so when you become known good, for the shit that's scary and you're like fuck I, I think i instilled it in my like parkour <laughs> identity so early on yeah. now that it's a part of me the double con guy and like I, I think when i when i and when we started the lockdown videos i was um I was going out. I was like, okay, this is a chance to like forget about um, what I add to a session. Mm. Yeah, I suppose because uh, I try not to think like that as much as possible, and it's time for me to like actually work on stuff that I would otherwise neglect without worrying about wasting a session. Because I've got all these free days, mm. so many free days suddenly to just like chip away at things I would otherwise find boring. Because if Callum starts looking at a nice big like plyo or like a standing jump or Josh is looking at a big arm jump or whatever, like I go and get stuck in on that because it's mm. what I'm used to mm. making me, getting me satisfied, satisfying me. Like, so um, yeah, and then after a few weeks of that, I was like, actually, I really enjoy just running at a good cat park. So <laughs> I'm, I'm not going back to that. It's not, it doesn't hold me back at all. Like I don't, I don't, I've never, I've never lost, I lose motivation, motivation for training, of course, but um but yeah, I, I love the fundamentals and always will. I love pushing the fundamentals. I, yeah. don't, know, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it still satisfies mm. me, but I still just love it. And that, it is and that, so satisfying. Yeah. But I see people like you, Keelan, and, and you know, Joel Larson and Travis, and I'm like, oh, like, oh I'd love to be able to do everything. Yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would like, be... Travis is fucking pushing it, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> sick. He is, he is, he is. Yeah, yeah, big yeah. up to... Uh, not stopping. Big up to Lilu, by the way, for doing manpower. Woman power. Woman power, yeah. Very sick. Crazy.
crazy. Just mm. remember that. Crazy, because I've been watching Hazal's journey the last three years, building mm. up to it, shooting, mm -hmm. a, shooting a project, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, she's been building up to it. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's I know. Sick. Um, yeah, and, and they were doing a podcast yesterday, and it went out, and I was sitting in the corner while they were doing a podcast. Oh. And I saw it go live. And they're having the they were and like she didn't want to chat about it because she was worried like there are people looking at it. Oh no! Wow. Whatever. Um, no, I don't know. To be fair, if that was the case, because yeah, she was yeah. she was buzzing when she found out. Yeah, yeah, she, mm -hmm. yeah. There's I know there's there's a lot of girls who were like I want to do it. Yeah, so, which is sick. But it's, and it, it's not, not but it's like it's like the unlock now, and we'll see way more happen. Like it was like the unknown race to the first woman to do manpower. Yeah, it was yeah, actually, yeah. It was actually brewing. It was like, a thing. Oh, it was. was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It's uh, it's amazing. I mean, yeah. What a weapon. She's Lily's been uh, making serious gains. You could tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, she's so sick. Did you see a little tricking story the other day where she was like surprising herself landing these. No. Tricks. It was joke. She's looking at the camera after, just like, whoa. I how, just, how did I, I land love that? seeing like, stuff like that. It's yeah, like when yeah. you've made those sleeping games. You know yeah. I mean? like, she yeah. put out so much good stuff like in lockdown, just in her garden. And it was like so mm -hmm. much like weird, just progression on basically like a couple of pallets and a fucking trampoline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, PK's really cool, good as well. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And shit too. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. So That's cool. what I don't remember her having much of. And the yeah, last same. two years or something just leveled up. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Um, you mentioned editing trailers for other projects. Obviously, you've done. You did Breach and Capstone. No, sorry. You mentioned editing, but I had I, I and sort of other editing and things. But yeah, you did the Breach and Capstone trailers. Like, mm, are yeah. you how much like external editing are you managing to squeeze in? And is it kind of do, um, do they come to you? I mean, obviously you've known Sam and that lot for years, so it's like they come to me. Yeah, I didn't yeah. plan. I didn't plan in, initially to do the like whole all of the capstone edits, like mm. um, the Australia like the full edit. Yeah, I yeah. was sort of like guys like I was. I was constantly pestering them for like their plan for the edit because part of me at the back of my head was like, I really want to do it. <laughs> that was <laughs> sick. That's good. I was like, this is the kind of footage, you know, that it, Sam's already cut out all the shite. I'm yeah, just, yeah. I've just got insane world's first happening. Got back to back clips. Like, oh, that, is, that is when you enjoy an edit. You know? Yeah. And, like, um, and saying that, I did like hit some walls and I pushed it to the line like for Sam, which is, uh, yeah, I hope he expected secretly. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I've, I've been really enjoying it, actually. Yeah. I recently did one for Queen City, Max Henry's oh, new film as well. sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's but, coming. Yeah, they have to go into Brighton on Friday, aren't they? Is it Friday? Yeah, yeah, yeah and then yeah. they're coming up here, I think, the week after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Great film. Yeah, keep an eye out for that. I think they've done... Have they done premieres already? I think they, I think they did something in America, yeah. Um, but it's not been online released yet, yeah. How, yeah. Um, how does that work? Do they send you... Uh, I, I sort of try and get them to send to do the project selects export projects yeah do you know what i mean uh so you you export and it exports all the files yeah oh know. of the whole film uh no no uh so i just said to max like do your best to yeah and selects of what you think you want to yeah yeah across. okay and then i go through that and i'm like have you got more of this or is there anything that might have this vibe or that's that thing and i i love a trailer man i love yeah, yeah. they're the, there i really enjoy those like sick i still get that like early wall because you know with trailers and that compressed style any, but, any decision you make is pivotal like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, you're going to start building around that but so i'll go to the parts of the song or i'll cut a song first to this to the length Make sure that's where you need the song and the vibe isn't it where you're like cool yeah. i need to create a it's, vibe do they give you the like, song as well so i yeah they had these two really great great tunes ready and um and i was like oh i'm gonna use my blue tick let's get some permissions for these like, and it was like otherwise we're going royalty free you know whatever mm. so one of them was like yeah let's uh, sounds great blah, blah blah um and then we're just really slow about all the responses an incredible yeah. song and i fully finished the cut and um they're not gonna see this it'll be all right uh, they ended up, I think, premiering that or playing that at the end of an event, um, uh, in some at some screening, um, and that was the best edit. And oh then, and no! I, I had, yeah, I had yeah. To then, Change it I had out. To then swap the song out. It's still good, but like, uh, yeah. The, the second the second song isn't just never feels the same. I mm -hmm. think from a creative standpoint, it's so mm -hmm. rare that you're like, yeah. oh yeah, this is better. <laughs> well, you make so many calls in yeah. terms of the arc that are entirely revolve around the the song, um, and then once it's changed, yeah, I I, li I re realigned like you know the you realign it, but it's just yeah, <laughs> you're missing something. Yeah, yeah big time. And it's happened so many times. Big time. But yeah, no, they they they've been um, coming to me. I think Max Henry was just like, uh, so I asked, or like I knew you'd done. 
at the capstone trailer and then i asked chris who you got to do the breach trailer and he said you you did it as well <laughs> and, uh, i was wondering if you want to do you're it obviously the guy yeah <laughs> um, i really really enjoy it yeah i really Sick. enjoy it and i and i find myself putting a lot of effort into them because i just uh it's like i think it's exactly what my style of editing is like kind of built for yeah mm-hmm. um yeah i love it um and, and being able to compress that story and do a project justice and know that it's essentially the first thing people will see. I like that type of practice. I'm waiting for Keelan to be like, do you want to do the one for Soul? Yeah, <laughs> soul Train hasn't been known yet. Yeah. yeah. All right, say the word. I'll have the to. One, the one Sasha, sound. Sasha d- dips his head because it means that he's on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, mm, sick. Oh, I'll help you on the Soul Train. That'd be great. Yeah, I'd love oh, to. Just <laughs> live in there for a bit please yeah yeah um, I'll just, go chip, up on the I'll just chip in yeah yeah I'll <laughs> yeah. just chip in give you loads of, of really annoying tips yeah, yeah that will just tear it apart on the 11th hour you're like oh yeah 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 uh, I've just realised I've got me and Sam have got that meeting at four but you've got to leave it in 45 minutes right uh, yes yeah okay mm. cool um, speaking of other work Hugo Boss <laughs> yeah. that, that was pretty sick that was pretty snazzy I thought it's anyone else doing moment. yeah I know but it, I thought anyone else doing it, it wouldn't work. The, I don't know. You have the voice for that, and it just kind of looked quite natural. <laughs> it was, it was the furthest out of my comfort zone. I've I really liked it. Yeah. In so long, yeah, and I was so scared for the edit. It's all in the edit, man. Who ed- like, did you edit? No, oh, they- I begged them. I was on my knees. <laughs> Please let me edit. It. Really? Like, because it's all in the edit, right? Yeah, yeah. In terms of cringe and potential, cringe, yeah. Because I mean, what's yeah, it like course. on set when you're? What was it? Big fucking tinfoily shit hanging in? Yeah, mylar mm-hmm. apparently it's called. And what are you doing, like? I mean, holding just, a fragrance like this, man. Yeah. And they're like, give us some attitude, Toby. And the you know, French producers, yeah, give us some attitude. I was like, can't, <laughs> can't, can't do it. I, can't. I was like, I'm really sorry. Like, I will hold a pose. You tell me it's good and you shoot because, and, and that is the, uh, unfortunately, I have the confidence now in those environments to just stand, stand my, ground. Stand my yeah, ground. Of course. Because you've got to, they will tear mm. your image apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, is it, man? And uh, you know, on before me was an incredible ballet dancer and uh, and a hip hop artist, and both of them are performers. Yeah, they, so they killed mm, it. They just killed it, and they're in this silver mall, and we're walking over after doing all the parkour stuff. And they're like, right now you got the easy bit. I'm like, my heart's, <laughs> my heart's going, bro. This is what I was dreading. Where'd you do it? Was like, it London? That was in Paris. That oh, was, yeah, sick. Did long, uh, just one night over there in Paris. So. Sick. Um, but honestly, I was holding that fragrance in front of that camera, just imagining the Lump Realm upload. <laughs> it's, all I, it's all I could imagine. I was like, how is this going to be ripped the shit out of us? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, and I was dreading it for honestly, like, couple months like before i got the edit through i was like please like it's yeah all in, it's all in the because you have like, to push it right like they, you've been paid what's well, the like, curse of being an editor for so long you know what you can fuck up you yeah, know, yeah, you know yeah, what you yeah. can mess up so and they got someone who knows what they're doing yeah i think uh they were matching movement and everything they're matching i think from a from a the roles and doing all yeah, that yeah from an app perspective it was it was like really decent i was yeah, i was yeah. i was it was a relief when i watched it yeah. i was like okay it's all right the, the vo- I, the, I can post this yeah <laughs> i was like yeah yeah um i think it would be fine if i'd done a bunch like that before mm. um yeah i just just way out of my comfort zone and that's when all of my uh yeah uh I don't know what the word is that's when all my anxieties come plowing out of my self-consciousness. I'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah, when I'm standing there, like, trying to look cool. Ah, I don't know, man. <laughs> Not sure. Like, that's feeling, yeah. Try and look cool. Try and look like, cool. <clears throat> yeah, man, yeah. But it's a funny story. Like, those blocks, they, um, it's not that funny. Bloody hell. <laughs> you judge this afterwards. <laughs> those, those silver blocks uh, that I'm jumping on. Yeah. For, for months, I was like, can you send me, like, the drawings of how you're building that block? Like, I was like, there's quite a lot of pressure, like, that we're, I'm going to be like, I'm not just standing on this block and yeah. doing poses. Like we're mm. going to be blocking hard, and like if they break, like I'm getting whiplash to the concrete. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like on this, like, <laughs> um, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we got it, we got it. Like send me, and I ended up. They didn't send me drawings, so I sent them drawings. I was like, that this is roughly like what, what? I need like, yeah. to uh, just stop it from breaking, basically. And um, I turn up, and it's literally like an ornament, like this is really thin um plywood and mm. no bracing at all like at all so yeah. i'm standing on this thing and it's flexing inward this is like day one i'm ready to shoot in like a couple of hours i was like guys like if i do anything that i want to do off this i'm plowing through it i'm gonna really hurt myself and break your box <laughs> doing like, a really doing bad. a fosky in paris yeah and the set designers were like I'm like honestly it's fine it's fine <laughs> 
I was like, no, I'm not like an idiot. Like, I'm yeah. like this isn't this isn't even like it might be fine. This is like if I do one running dive cat bars off this thing, your hands get or a through. punch fry, I, my both my feet are yeah, plowing yeah. through this thing. I was like, please, and they're like going around the whole building, like trying to find scrap wood to to brace it and stuff. Jesus so Christ! There's a bunch of stuff in that where I'm like in the air, just like, please don't break. Like, please, you know, <laughs> once they'd fixed, they had they did a good job at fixing it, but yeah, fucking hell. Costume number one was full silver mylar. I was a flipping spaceman. Yeah. What? You... Costume number two was full leather, like <laughs> what the full fuck? leather. And costume number three was like just black tracksuit. I was like, thank God. Like, and what? You didn't have to do the other two. No, I had to choose between those three. Oh, and, but I got oh, given right. those two first. I was like, what is the third going to be? I've totally. I should not have said no. I should not have. Said Are there yes any first. like you know sort of like a costume design photos knocking about of you know they take it they take a couple of iPhone snaps. <laughs> There probably are. Actually. You in I full try, leather. I should try and get them. Yeah, yeah. try and get back in touch. Yeah. Wow. No, but yeah, it was a good experience and a good uh, test for me to just let go and relax into it and be like, look, man, you can't, you can't turn down. You go, boss. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah. Is that is that going to be? Am I going to like? So not turn. I could turn down Hugo Boss easy. Definitely. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's more like it's more just like you know the 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 money they offer for that stuff. Like it's just like you know people would it's just ridiculous it's the value of money it's yeah, like, yeah. it would be totally ir immoral of me to turn this down like, yeah. you know, it's, <laughs> it's that kind of that where's kind of where's thing. it getting shown like am i going to go to the cinema and see you bopping about uh what, what the and oh, no, i guess cinema does it just fragrance inst your instagram that probably. was all it was yeah really so that, yeah that was it yeah that's no, a lot of effort i, I, I assume they'll i assume yeah. they'll use it for something but mm. I, I didn't hear of any usage i think it's all online so oh, okay. um mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, nice. No, it was a good little opportunity. Good, good. Uh, I hadn't done anything like that in a long time. Yet, yeah, so yeah. It was, it was interesting. Yeah, because they're just like, can you just run around and just ad lib? Is that all right? Like, just run around all the obstacles and just sort of improv. I hate that. I was like, guys, like, just, just. <laughs> no. So you know, like, we don't run across town and get everywhere doing just, parkour. Like, it's like, yeah, yeah, really, yeah. Really, I was like, I need to. But did you get any creative license on the script, or was that? Fortunately. Oh, geez, okay. Should have seen the first one. Really? Oh, oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> that was something special. It was, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, so I, I was like, I'm really gonna have to. Um, did you see my, you see my teeth pop out? Are you gonna have to zoom in on that? <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. We're not even. In we're not app. even filming. Um, no. Oh, right right now. We're not filming. <laughs> we're in the edit. Fucking. We're, we're in only the edit. Yeah, yeah, probably. Probably. We're only on 1080 here, so yeah, we can't. We haven't got that pixelation. But <laughs> that's going to get people on YouTube, though. So very true. Yeah. So I had to. I had to drag in the. Um, no, I, had to, I, had to, I was just like, please, can I like rewrite it, and then you can uh, approve it. I yeah, like, yeah. I'll keep your lines in and stuff, but I can't. Yeah, it was very strange. I love mm. to smell good when I'm street running. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, what 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 notes have you got on your booklet I of I've really been following dreams. properly, but I don't know. Are we going to touch on future video games? Yeah, I really need to that. And I think somebody just walked into the toilet. I might let me. Go you, on, have it. Yeah, go on, yeah go I'm going for. I'm going to have a look. You 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 carry on. I thought you were a bit fidgeting we, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke about video game last time, didn't we? We did yeah. podcast a while ago. When we, yeah. I think all we did, we spoke about video game and then we didn't speak about you at all. We got to the end, we were like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, how was that? So that was early days, going? wasn't it? Yeah, that was when I think Before we then. thought it was going to be sooner, maybe. But yeah. it's taken. Had the Kickstarter finished when, when we had that chat? I don't know. Um, yeah. It was just about to finish. I haven't been for a wee yet. Jack's in the toilet, but I'll go in in a minute. Um, I'm glad that you I think we were like a few days out, out you'd, finish, you'd yeah. already hit the goal. Um, yeah. It's moving. Yeah, it's mm. moving. That, that, was um i don't know how transparent i can be about it all but that was uh essentially to get something going that would in uh would entice investors potential investors yeah. to come in and then actually pay the real money you need to make a game yeah course, i, I yeah. had written down because i saw i was called a while ago now just randomly that the store like twitter was like dm not dming like it just there was like a debt a blast on the store of twitter yeah. where it was like reaching out to like game companies being like yeah, yeah sort of want to get involved or whatever so uh drew's girlfriend jazz has sort of essentially taken project manager like role now uh, okay. um because we realized it was grinding to a motivational halt and the mm. and the like developer guys uh were having trouble basically like just committing to 
you know, putting essentially some of their... You know, well, I guess lot, they're, de- the kick- they're developers. Like, Well, a lot of the Kickstarter cash is paying uh, that very, very small team. Like, There's like two of them now. You yeah. Know? Wow. Um, it's, yeah. It's, it's trimmed down. There was a few more at the start. Um, but a lot of it's, you know, they're putting in their own time to do this essentially passion project. One of them, fortunately, is like doing a course at uni that he can use all of his work in the game for, oh, uh, which works really well. His name's Dave. Cool. Uh, yeah, and he's amazing. Um, but uh, yeah, it's moving again now. Um, thus the the scans recently. Yeah, and, they look sick. And, uh, and the new gameplay and version 0.9 or 0.9. Something just came mm-hmm. out, didn't it? Is, um, is ready to come out. It's almost, oh, okay. I think it's almost, I think it's almost out. I should come know. out I should in know what ways so, so people can test it. So 0.09, right? The next one's 0.1, right? Mm. Version one is the game. Yeah. So right. so we're what ten percent in nine percent in. Yeah. To it's gonna be process, it's right. Such um, a fucking hard game to make. Oh, it's insane. It's sick, and yeah. it's and it's there's no you can't use any reference. There's no, no there's no reference like that recent uh, what's it called the multi sport game that's come out. Um, multi, you can like change between a bike and a snowmobile in midair and shit. Is that what? Oh, wow. Pasha keeps putting. I didn't know about that. Rampage. Yeah. yeah Pasha, Pasha keeps putting on a story. Called, I forget what it's called. Anyway, that like has come out and it's like oh nice okay there's like people love just going around doing a sport like yeah. the old sport whatever and, mm. and um but yeah like we chatted about it last time got carried away of all the ideas and and um so that's still constant but we wrote it right in we're like right we need a decent playable game yeah. it doesn't matter how simple it is but we need to feel some essence of what you're going to be playing in the final because no investor is remotely interested in an idea these yeah, days. yeah. Mm-hmm. they need the safety like um so yeah, that's the next mission basically. Uh, so yeah, for anyone that we get asked every single day, you know, where's yeah. the game, where's the game, where's the game? Cause the Kickstarter I think had some dates that have now probably now passed. <laughs> um, and that was uh, in hindsight, like they were wishful dates, but like if the stars aligned, they could have happened, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But you need, a, you need a team of a hundred sitting in working together and, and grinding hard. Do you remember the old developer videos hardcore, of the Tony Hawk's games? Like on Tony Hawk's, they used to have like, um, like extras and you could go and watch videos of like the developers like skating in the office and things. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Always like, it was You'd like actually get proper skate videos in there as well. Yeah, but I mean, like, they'd have like, yeah, fucking huge, uh, obviously this is like older, so older technology, but they would have like a, a school computer room full of developers working on one game. Like, yeah, yeah. It's mad. Bloggy, is, is he out of the toilet yet? Yeah, he came out ages. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Bleeding out my face now. It's great. Um, so, yeah, yeah. they, they uh, yeah, they're, they're, they've, they've roped it in and they've sent, they've actually like redesigned the base of it now, like to future proof it a bit better for the, all this new technology. So it's a constant, yeah. It's a constant sort of like you're trying to stay in sync with the current technologies, and as they can, they can come out, you know, mid development. So it's like, oh, okay, that's available now. Is Fuck, that we need to redesign now the base of everything again and and work with that and like programs? Is that things coming yeah, out? Yeah, so they're, they're using like, like Unreal Engine five, I think, at the moment, and yeah. and um and there's just uh so much behind the the like motion capture, the scans, all this crazy stuff. Um, Clear Angle Studios like did us a, a great deal on the first scan of me, so they have like a full quality character mm-hmm. to play this first version of you. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They haven't, I haven't got through like the body scan yet, but like the the head scan came out. You know, you've got yeah, yeah, yeah. in it with the lighting and that. Um, full bald version they sent me. I don't know if you oh, said that. Oh really? That, that's no. crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's totally. You haven't seen that. Oh gosh, show uh-huh. you now. It's totally nuts. But can, um, yeah, can the, you visualize? Like, are you going to be able to do different haircuts? Because that would be you've basically got. What, so you have. You totally. Have ba- you they have base they redesigned can, my. They had to put on my beard and hair. So like, what you've got right now? <laughs> yeah, what had, what you don't realize is you have the ultimate. Like you can just see what sim. you look like with every haircut. You can yeah, be yeah. like, maybe I'll try a mullet, and then you can just go on the game, have a quality. Well, it works like, and go. Yeah, oh, okay, works. Yeah, mullet. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I have no. You have no signal in here. Oh, uh, yeah. Wi Fi. We're in the depths maybe, of maybe maybe the depths of Kent. Mm. There we got Wi Fi, but I don't know if it'll show. Basically, you. it's full. Like no eyebrows, no beard, no hair. Like, oh wow! It's on Story Why Community. Does that Try and scroll down on Story Community. Albino. Story Community <laughs> YouTube Community page. Scroll down there. If you go to Wi Fi, I might be able to give you. Oh. Don't, Sorry, don't worry. It'll All take right. too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm now distracted because I'm getting notifications from our childcare. Jesus, it's Jesus. actually sick. To be fair, we get like, <laughs> oh, she's so she's so adorable. We get like <laughs> updates from the the woman looking after Daisy, just sending photos, and it's like, oh, little size are, Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> still living. All right, we did. Yeah. So the game's moving. The game's moving. I'm sick. not. I'm not too in tune with where it's at and stuff. Um, mm. But. Uh, 
Generally, yeah, it's moving. Um, Do you get to play it much? Like, so when this 0.9, 0.09 uh, comes out, I think we're all going to get together, have a little, nice little party, Sick. and uh, and muck about on that because the new maps and stuff look insane. Yeah, and the, and the and the new motion they've got in. So Callum did a bunch of uh, voiceover the other day for security guards. So oh, that, amazing! That must be so fun, honestly. And apparently, yeah. oh, I say like it's a surprise. He's incredibly good at it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Of course he was. So there's this really fat, bald security guard now chasing you around in the game and that. And that. oh, amazing! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And the graphics are just unbelievable i saw the thing of the um suicide wall yeah 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 and yeah. it looked real like the totally actual not. place of it yeah, yeah yeah so they've got now like that that there is obviously like essentially mapped motion capture onto a onto a 3d environment yeah. mm. so you can probably imagine that's fairly like easy kind of easy to do yeah um, it's harder to create so it's harder to create new movement right like it's easy to map movement, emotion but also like you it's mean just, the location? it's harder to actually play that you know yeah to actually okay. to actually play that run at that wall press oh you mean the movement is mapped yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's, mm. it's essentially like the motion capture they've just animated and mapped it onto that location to give you an idea of what it would look like um, yeah but now they've got to the point where yeah they're actually like playing that now third person like and and doing moves and running around and that same motion capture is uh, wow is is flowing and the transitions are there and because that's the, it's the transitions like so yeah. you want to do a stride plow hot plyo stride like you need to learn you need to map and design those tra animation mm. transitions so that it and, and map them to the controller so yeah. that it looks smooth and it's not jarring yeah so and it like, doesn't look like two different animations or something totally, yeah, it's just yeah. one thing yeah. and like running up to a cap shot cat pass imagine you're on the wrong foot for example they mm. need to like they need to like design a mirrored version for the yeah. case for the case that you happen to be too close to a wall and it wouldn't work and you'd be all glitchy and like you know, yeah, yeah 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 or and then you and then you have to work out when you clip your knees and when you don't or when you <laughs> miss your hands early can't and, like, wait to shoot big bales yeah yeah can't wait mean, for that yeah in terms of like what it's going to look like these first versions I've got no idea you know mm. it's whatever but uh, yeah. they're 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 reaching for the stars and they're very transparent about that which is good and sick and it's mm -hmm. um, everyone's everyone involved now is like down to a skeleton crew that are actually passionate about it you know what i mean so that's worth hopefully it. yeah if any v investors are listening you've got crazy money oh the, <laughs> the, the big investors listen to the motors podcast trust <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, lucrative, lucrative the real sponsors. big money listens to this <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah um yeah get in touch because uh <laughs> yeah yeah please need, need a hand <laughs> um fuck it's fucking 320 already when do you have to leave flies 345 345 dock you yeah what's when's when's yeah. i think the other thing we spoke about was i think i don't know if we spoke about it on the podcast maybe afterwards but the sort of what was teased at 10 10 10 which was your kind of next documentary piece that yeah you sort of oh, i don't want to say too much because it was what we spoke about afterwards but like mm. there's some potential big stuff happening with regards to people slash uh also like pieces things happening within that what what's happening there like what i don't know what you can say yeah not too much i guess because there's still uh things to be like locked down yeah um, but yeah biggest project you've ever done by far so uh that's that's uh, that's probably sick that probably spells out to some degree i think uh locations are slow slowly starting to lock down locations um we want to we want to tell the story of stora from the start we'll, yeah we want to go into the into the personality relationship dynamics between us all like you know speak to family speak to girlfriends like really go in on like the psych behind it get yeah. to the, get to the nitty-gritty um of how it works how it's worked what's gone wrong what's gone right everything and um and then on top of that like few uh, you know footage new new scenes new yeah footage that we're really trying to push um and you guys actually i think you kind of clocked it in a in a podcast, I remember you chatting about it. Uh, that it will be like a, um, we're going down like a performance route in terms of that. Like, yeah, this film will use all of our archive, right? So we've got all the movement you could ever need. Like, you know, yeah, all, all the you know they'll have access. The guys that will be story producing this and the editors will have access to all of our footage from all time, and they'll have you know, yeah, the sixty terabytes of whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so in terms of like, oh, we need a root big roof gap, or we need like this, this, that. Uh, it's fair. We can kind of forget about that because that's done. That's archive. That's in. But um, yeah, we want to up our team synergy. That's the gist. Um, yeah. Which mm -hmm. has been spoken about, I think, before and whatever. Um, and there are levels to that. We've started realizing there's yeah. levels, like, and there are ways you can push that on, like a 
on like a risky, scary level as well. Yeah. You know, like really trusting your mate to to uh, to execute something in front of you. Otherwise, you collide horribly on like a crazy, intricate murmuration type. All scene, I can think know, about is when you're doing the warped wall, not warped wall, fucking suicide wall, and doing it all together. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's only the start. For some reason, That's already I, fucking sketchy yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like it doesn't come across in the video, but I, that mm. fucking. I, that, I see. One. I was literally thinking about hot air balloons. I don't know why I was just thinking I just uh, you were talking about sketchy stuff and I was imagining I was just imagining somebody like jumping from one one air balloon to another (laughs) that's where my brain went you know I've always wondered I reckon you could you could have a hot air balloon over another one yeah Yeah, I reckon you could jump like belly flop the top of it I think people have done it I think and roll off it yeah yeah no I think into like a base jump you know I think base jumpers have already done it I think so (laughs) can it take that yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I've it's a seen hot... them on it, but I don't know about jumping onto it. Yeah. It's weird. I'm not <laughs> sure. Know. I don't know how you get on it. Um, so what, I mean, obviously it sounds like we can't say much, but like what, are we looking at sort of timelines? How, how far down that path are you? And... Hopefully this uh, this summer into the end of the year, we hopefully we're finished shooting at locations. Um, Have you started No, any? no, we haven't. That sounded no. like we'd started, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, only the last few weeks we've really started like nailing down the final, like logi- some of the logistics and, yeah. and ready to sort of get the first bits done. Um, crazy scout discovery just the other day, actually. Um, a lot closer to home than we ever expected. Uh, so Ooh. yeah, that's uh, that's pending. Insane find by Max and Bench. Yeah. Fuck, we need to um, up our game with our fucking <laughs> Google Maps. <laughs> time, time yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and committing to go and checking them that's what it is really. yeah yeah um so yeah locations were really the crux for a long time and you know we want to film this on another level and to do that you mostly need permission to you know really level it up yeah and, yeah and have time and make the best thing you possibly can so mm. um yeah before we sort of like it's like oh okay who's found something and you gear everything around the what that person found happened to find and sometimes that might just be because they found it first or whatever and mm-hmm. blah 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 this time we really want to like up the level of cohesiveness and synergy and work solely based on the on what the final output of the whole unit is going to be like mm. that all of us moving hopefully uh sash can get a bit involved even if with some locations like they open up a different uh, element that we haven't had before so hopefully we can get him like showing his truth. I love how like vague this really? all is yeah, but exactly. exciting. <laughs> it's like doing a good job at making it. Yeah. So like you're saying it's very awesome. little but also a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah I mean crazy like we just want to push the cinematics and really like you know don't leave anything up to like you know once we're in the edit oh we should have done that like yeah, that's the yeah. plan for this one basically it's like we want to come away from this like we couldn't have done any better that's the plan for the project um, we're probably taking the action parts of the cut and then we're giving like the story and the, and um, rest of it to uh, a team now over in the in the states I think that's going to be the plan um, yet to uh, sort of get to know them and, and uh, get them to know us because that's like such a massive part yeah, of yeah. learning us. But there'll be phases of interview, you know, so they can do that, maybe interview us together, maybe like, you know, whatever. But yeah, it's exciting. It's daunting, yeah. daunting. I love the fact that I'm not editing it. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so it's scary, yeah. You're putting our whole story into other people's hands, essentially. Um, we'll have creative input and control, but... Uh, you know some of it we'll have to let go of and yeah 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 it's exciting yeah, yeah. fuck yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, is that um do you reckon that might be a, a paid for thing paid for oh yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just bang on youtube <laughs> I, know, I just imagine well, you so, just so, like so. ah just youtube it it's a real it. just fucking tiktok paid it. for yeah yeah i don't mm. know like Depends if you're if you're got a, yeah. It's just cool to see the timeline. <laughs> got of subscri- like, have you got a subscription? <laughs> 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 Who knows? Now we yeah. want we want to basically do that. We want to make it like it's as push it as far yeah. as we possibly can in terms of like yeah, distribution and production because it's like probably not going to make another one of these. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, maybe in like another 20, 30 years we do the Dogtown Z boys like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this is like the oh, so cool. Yeah, I can't wait for those films. That's <laughs> yeah. good, isn't it? The Valley Uprising and Parkour. Yeah, 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 yeah. fucking yeah. hell. It's just cool to see like Super Tramps, Roof Culture Asia and then like this. Yeah. Just yeah. seems like a whole nother thing. Well, they were, yeah, yeah. Now we're putting our, our faith in the hands of like, you know, people that have done some serious stuff yeah, <laughs> yeah. with film and, and and doc and storytelling so yeah we'll see uh it's exciting but it's scary yeah at the same time yeah 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 which is amazing it's actually went through actually went through my head on the hop back from the water challenge and ankle <laughs> roll 
this summer was like you know everyone's starting to really try and get tuned in like to so yeah you okay. get to these locations and feel prime and ready mm. to to push yourself you know and i'm like Fuck. <laughs> six yeah. weeks out like you know i'm gonna be rushing rushing back a little bit i assume these finish. locations aren't all like uk they're very no um no they're not yeah, we yeah. Got, we've got maybe one now in, in the uk but we don't need many three or four or something yeah um, I'm yeah. very curious. It sounds yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Sick. So I many am. things going through my well. head of trying to like think of what. Yeah, what it's like what the fuck things? are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need something current, basically. We need something new. Yeah. We could make the film on interviews and archive. Of course, sure. yeah. You, yeah, could, yeah, you yeah. could make a film, and it would be mm, it'd yeah. be a great watch. Should be fascinating. You could have a load of new insight and whatever, but you need something new. Uh, parkour footage hot air balloons we actually asked in Cappadocia if we could run along one of those peaks and intercept yeah, hot air yeah. the problem is when you like add weight to hot air balloons they go down they go down yeah. <laughs> so, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so yeah that's why the end of that POV actually is cut weird because yeah. they jump on it just goes to the ground again <laughs> <laughs> so they have to jump on yeah and then cut to, cut to the vlog up in the air but yeah yeah stay Sick. tuned uh, yeah I feel like we should we should end there there was some mm. i had some questions about like bouldering and things but it's i feel like that's too much of like an exciting point to that's an epic wrap finish, up on yeah. and we are unfortunately <laughs> running out of time yeah so still gonna do 10 questions yeah oh my God. just to scare you um amazing sweet yeah, yeah. No, that was well i hope you, everyone is in i feel like we covered some cool shit and if you haven't listened to this before if you're from the the infamous wait is infamous a bad word um, no, I mean, no, that's I the don't other. Know. Infamous, and then there's Notorious. Yeah, but no, Notorious. Right. If you're from the Store Army, um, <laughs> there you go. welcome. Thank you for watching, listening, and uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe, etc. Yeah, do it. We also sell clothes, make YouTube videos occasionally. Um, sick. Yeah, bang in. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, no, no I've enjoyed no it. It's been Amazing. good. It's cool. All right to see the space as well i think people think that uh we're the ones that are, that are all you know professional and got it sorted but oh anyone, god anyone walks really? in here jesus it's all a big facade it's all held up by fucking masking tape and yeah fair else, so. yeah i was gonna say that yeah. i just thought it's a bit of a harsh ending just don't yeah. knock on the walls too hard everything will fall down do you have a button to press yeah, yeah of course we do oh, can i press it yeah, yeah. Go on. which one the red one top red one bye i love you <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs>